Okay, true believers, we are live! So for those listening at home, welcome to the Dungeon Musings YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Madison, and I'll be your friendly editor-in-chief today, because today uh, we were going to be carrying on with our ongoing uh, The Guard uh, campaign played with uh, Savage Worlds Adventure Edition, but um, we found the summer schedule strikes again, and uh, folks are either on vacation or unable to make the session. So this morning, we are returning to a delayed session that we were going to play a little bit ago, uh, and that'll be taking out... Uh, Marvel's new role-playing game, Marvel Multiversal Role-Playing Game, uh, for a spin. Uh, and with me today is one of the stars of the Guard campaign, it's Will! Hi, my name's Will, I'll be playing Galactus. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, he doesn't even have stats in the game, so... <laughs> uh, we For those listening at home, we, we didn't know that we were going to be playing this today. I have read the rules, I had prepped to, to run this thing a while ago. Uh, so I'm fairly conversant with the with the rules, uh, but there are a couple of issues. Uh, we, we, for one, the roll twenty sheet. Uh, there's one element of compat of um, of kind of utility that is is lacking in this. So we're gonna be making use of the uh, the, the character sheets in here. But we're what I'm what I'm hoping is that they will be fixing some of the issues that uh, we have seen previously with the the game between the time of the session and whenever uh, you decide to uh, potentially give it a go. We're also not going to be making use of there's a uh, adventure called um, Revenge of the Soper Scroll that uh, was released with Roll Twenty. We're not going to play that one uh, because you know uh, if that's the only adventure available for the game right now, and I don't want to spoil that for anyone who might be interested in playing that. So instead, we're going to be kind of fumbling around and getting a sense of what um, the Marvel Multiversal game is. Will, uh, you don't own it and you haven't uh, played it yet, right? I, yeah, I've got the, what was it, the... Um, well, the test drive? Uh, what they call, yeah, the first thing they put out, uh, yeah, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Not Pl quick play start, test? But, yes, thank you, God, I could not think of that yeah. word. <laughs> Saturday yeah, morning. I had the play test and... I'm going to be ordering the rules here shortly. It's it's in my wish list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's uh, yeah, let's see if it's what I will tell you. Like, we talked about this quite a bit uh, when I got when the game came in. My, the nutshell version, or my nutshell impression of it, is that it's a fantastic role playing game for playing superheroes from the Marvel universe. Uh, even creating your own Marvel characters to play in it. Uh, it's not the kind of game where you will see advancement mechanically with your character uh it's just oh, not yeah. the, it's there are a lot of role playing uh superhero role playing games struggle with this stuff um this is just not that kind of role playing game um now i know that you're a fan of the old uh phase rip marvel rpg oh, yes. did you ever play the uh, any of the other two or three uh marvel rpgs the card one that that uh, tsr put I out I did play the card one, and I actually kind of wish I still had it. I actually got to, uh, I actually learned how to play that at a convention from the guy that designed it. Oh, uh, okay, Stan. that's cool. Yeah, yeah, um, but that was that was good. I had the one where they, it was all like tokens or whatever. Yeah, that's the Marvel that one. That was Marvel's first effort at publishing it with the Power Stones. Yeah, yeah. With all that, I never could interface properly with it. No, I, um, I, it, I think the, you were not alone in that. There was a, it, it yeah. did not do terribly well. And then the Margaret then I, Weiss, Tracy Hickman. I, I, can't, I had those books once upon a time. I never played it, but I had the books. I don't know if I still have them or not. Okay. But yeah, the, the very first ones, I guess the first couple. Those are the ones I have the most experience with. Okay, yeah, yeah, me, me as well. I'm in the same boat. I've run. I haven't run the Power Stone one. Uh, I haven't run the Card one. Uh, but I've run. I've ran a, little, a fair bit of uh, uh, the Marvel Heroic, um, which was good. But I, I, the I can't remember what it's called. Not Interlock. Whatever the system is uh, that drives yeah. that. It's just not for me. It's just I, I don't. I think you would actually like the Card one. Knowing oh, yeah. you. Yeah, it, it plays very fast, Kevin. Oh, I gotta track it down then. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's not cheap to get into, especially because of the cards. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get a full set. And there's actually, if I remember probably, there's the set that comes with it, and then there's like four exclusive cards that were only at like cons or something. Fucking hell. Of course Tracking all that stuff down can be a pain in the butt. Yeah. But well, I guess it's something to work fun, towards. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like, okay, good. So we're both coming in. And the Marvel superheroes, the phase rip, you know, the original yeah. thing. I played those to fucking death. And we've played it on the yeah, channel, yeah. actually, as well. So I, I'm interested to see what um, what you think of this one. I, th mm -hmm. I th there's, a, I th I, there's a lot of interesting things about this. So I'm eager to see it at, uh, at the table. But... Yeah. 
in the game itself, or in the ga rule book itself, which is duplicated into here, uh, there is about a hundred and I think it's 127 characters uh, wow. in total to choose from. Uh, yeah, one. Let's see here. Uh, the way that the they kind of like scale up the power levels in the game, yeah, 127, is uh, through your your power rank. Uh, power ranks run from one to six. One is everyday, you know, pedestrian is Aunt May and whatnot. Six is you know uh, Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers. Presently, uh, is um, I, I think Hulk might be. Let's see here, Bruce Banner, oh, Hulk so might be. Let's see here. Yeah, Bruce Banner Hulk is a six as well. Um, and the reason that matters is because the uh, the game does a neat thing with math where the rank plays in for your damage. There's there's two kind of neat ways where they're sort of on the fly cal uh, changes that, uh, that come up that make for uh, really interesting math and really interesting outcomes. Uh, one of the ways that that works is through damage reduction. Um, mm -hmm. So damage reduction is a thing where you're gonna be reducing the multiplier that you have. And the other thing is, is on the fly adjustments for your dice rolls. Um, before I get down the, 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 too far down this rabbit hole, let's start talking in concretes though. So what Marvel character would you like to That's play? That's a good question. <clears throat> I've been sitting here kind of pondering. Okay, yeah. Because there's some who might be missing uh, from the list, but there is a pretty hefty yeah, I'm thinking of kind of like the core characters, or what I consider the core characters, yeah, I yeah. guess. Um, Do you want me to run through a list of the... No, 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 that, that, that'll take far too much time. <laughs> you know, I, I, I lean to my classics, you know, um, you know, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, um, you know, Moon Knight, those yep. are classic ones that I enjoy. All three of those um, are... Oh, Doctor Strange, I think he's in the game. Yeah, all he three. Doctor Strange is tier six. Iron Man, I believe, is four. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Iron Man is four. Moon Knight is four. Moon Knight's got a big oh. push in the comics the last little while, though. So. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, which I love it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I've, I'm a fan, and, and there's been some good stories. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's... Screw it. Yeah, let's... Um, let's go with Moon Knight. Hell yeah. Okay, let me just uh, drag and get the character in here for you. All right, where is he? B -b 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 Moon Knight. Four actually gives us a, a good range of um, things above you, below you to work with though. So that, yeah, that's that kind works of what I was well. thinking too. Um, okay, it's populating. It's populating. Let's hope this works. I see the token on the sheet. Okay. So there's the token. Let me just edit the sheet to give you access. Uh -huh. Here we go, all players journals. And edited by all players. Okay, so there you go. Okay, let's see. Yep, there he is. Okay. So, for, let me see, where's the token? Okay, so there's your token. Let me see mm -hmm. if I can adjust to put, uh, uh, your health and karma, or is it karma? Health and uh, focus uh, down on there. All right, so put the name on, that on. Did you say name or? No, I said name on. Name uh, or. No. Let's see. All right. Uh, oh, look at that. That's pretty fucking good. There's a bar, yeah. Yeah, so the, I don't know what they've, um, Oh, and this is actually kind of nice too. Look at this. Look at this here. All right. Um, oh, let me put them. Is it gonna cover up your face? No, not too bad. Okay. Uh, okay, so your, um, your uh, the three bars that are on there are uh, Kind of like your resources. So your uh, red bar is your health. Um, you lose all your health, you you know are defeated. Uh, your blue bar is your focus, which is used to activate certain powers in some ways or like certain abilities. It's also your kind of like mental health. So uh, mm -hmm. when there are certain like uh, telepathic effects and things like that, that will um, that will affect your uh, your focus instead of your health. 
you'll notice on the character sheet as well, you've got damage reduction for, for actually for your focus uh, and not your health. See how it says uh, damage reduction minus one. Okay. Uh, next to, let me see here. Uh, okay, where does it say that? Oh, it doesn't on the sheet here. Okay. Arc. You know, I wish there was, I, I really wish there was a PDF of this thing. Cause well, it, you know what? I'm fighting the, um, the character sheet. Um, usually I can pop it out as a, as a separate window. Oh, and it's not letting you do that? I'm not seeing that option anywhere in, uh, in here, which is odd. Because oh, I, yeah. I can do it in the super, the um, the Savage Supers game. Yeah, and I do it in the night Let's below. Huh? Because like, there's usually it's somewhere under the the gears and somewhere under the settings. I didn't even see the option. Yeah. Well, and this it's also. Oh man! Like why? So in, in the uh, in, in the the book, what it has mm -hmm. is like this is your stats here, right? So you got uh -huh. your health, your focus, and it has the damage reduction right next to it, so it's an easy access. That's not on here anywhere. Combat conditions, yeah, I don't see. All right. Huh. Well, it's, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, it is on top. Look at that, the, sorry. See, on top of is focus, it? there's a little blue, um, the little blue uh, shield. Oh, I see it. That's what damage reduction. That must be where the damage reduction is. Okay. And it's a zero for the health. Okay, so I stand corrected here. All right, so what that means, well, let's, um, how are we gonna do this? Let's start with the, the, the basics of dice rolls. So, dice rolls in this are always 3D6. Task resolution is always 3D6. One of your dice is gonna be a different color. Um, you can get the proprietary, you know, Marvel dice, which will have a Marvel logo in the place of a one and that matters because if you roll, uh, when you roll the 3d6, if it comes up a Marvel on the Marvel dice, that's a six as well. So you have two sixes on the Marvel dice, but if you get a Marvel dice and you get a success, then it counts as a fantastic success. That matters for the purpose of like, it does you know extra damage or and there's an extraordinary success. It's a critical success in almost any other game. Just okay. fantastic in this. Um, the, uh, to that, you're going to add your, whatever your, your attribute score is, so, or ability score. So like, let's, for instance, give you, uh, why don't you give us an agility check and this will okay. be a non-combat thing. So you're going to be able to have a little bit of an extra bonus. They've already factored in bonuses you get from your traits and powers. Oh, I see that non-combat. Okay. So yeah. click on the non-combat section. Yeah. Got it. Okay. You got a marble dice. So your agility oh. seven is added to the total. Their total's 21. Um, you also go to, if that was a success and the range of difficulties in this uh, are, where is it here? I think it's five is like a, like bog standard, super easy uh, success. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Difficulty, difficulty. Uh, Oh, here we go. So, uh, for challenge, oh, it uh, it's the ten plus your rank is the challenging target number, and then it's modified by uh, increments of two up and down, up to minus six for trivial to plus six for absurd. So for you, okay. your rank four challenging would have been fourteen to give you a context of just how good of a roll that is. Okay. Okay. Now, one of the things you can also do is uh, there's a, a mechanic called edge and there's a mechanic called uh, trouble. If you have trouble, uh, then that means there's some kind of complication. So like, let's say that there are gale force winds blowing through New York City as you're, you know, pogoing your way through it. That's the reason I made you make a, um, a uh, agility check. Because you have trouble, it means you take your highest dice or your best dice, which is the Marvel dice, you roll it mm -hmm. again and take uh, the lower of the two. Okay. So why don't you give us a D? This is the mechanic that I'm, I'm frustrated that it isn't. This is what you were talking about. I was looking to see, uh, yeah. It would be really easy if they made it. Okay, so yeah. Like, Savage Worlds has this kind of functionality. So why don't you yeah. give us a D6 roll? 
a two. All right, so then that drops that down to a 17, right? Because we replace that two with that. That means it's a 10 plus seven is 17, still an outstanding yep. roll. Now, if you had edge, what you would be doing is you pick one and you can re-roll it and take the better of the two if you'd like. Okay. If you have more than one edge, you get to roll multiple times and you do them one at a time. So okay. for instance, if you had um, a situational thing, like you're, maybe your your grapple lot, excuse me, your grapple line grants you a, an edge when you're swinging around the city and it's also favorable, ideal conditions or whatnot. You have two edge, you could re-roll like that three and that five and see if you can get a better result, take the better of the two for each of them. Or you could re-roll that three a couple of times until you get something better. That's one of the core mechanics in this is the the ability to re-roll certain dice to, to try and, you know, either get a better result or get a worse result. Mm -hmm. When you are doing effect for things, that's when you're going to be rolling the damage. Um, the damage is typically uh, a, whatever the result is for your Marvel dice times your rank plus the stat. Okay. So why don't you click on the? Let's just click on uh, melee just for a moment yep. to to see how what what the result would be there. Okay. Nineteen total. Okay, so that is ten, thirteen, um, plus your melee stat of four. How did I get to that? Ten, thirteen, plus six. Yeah, that's what's <clears throat> or times six, because um, I've got oh, my right, melee six. Of course, yeah, yeah. Plus the six. I'm an idiot. Okay, <laughs> so that is. Oh, it's rolling your attack at the same time. I'm a dummy. So I'm looking at the top thing, trying to figure out how You're you got to forty. Top. Okay. Yeah. I, I just clicked on, but I did that from just clicking on damage. So when right. I clicked on damage, it did both the attack. And the thing. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so then yeah. that's that's where, um, yeah. So that's how you you uh, figure out how much damage that you're doing. The way that the damage reduction works in though is that it modifies the rank. So instead of having yeah. like, let's say you hit the juggernaut. Juggernaut's got a damage reduction four. That would reduce your multiplier down to a two. So instead of how you know getting forty out of that, it would be two times well, six, twelve plus four is sixteen. Yeah, that's damn sight different than the other. And then he okay. also has a feature where if he doesn't take thirty points of damage, he ignores it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the comic book, though. I mean, that's oh, him. totally. Yeah, it, it absolutely fits the 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 material. But that's one of the that's the other kind of core mechanic in the game. There's always going to be things that will, uh, like, for instance, if someone uses a psychic attack against you, you reduce it by one. You got a resistance of one. That's a. You, there's no way of, of adding that in here. Oh, okay. Right. So. Uh, it's just something we're going to need to you know, be doing on our own, and we can't trust yeah. the uh, the sheet for that. When you are trying to affect, you remember um, what was it? Uh, the Infinity Wars, when you were trying yeah. to, you know, uh, there was the doppelgangers. Let's say that you were trying to hit yourself, a doppelganger of Moon Knight. What you'd be doing is targeting. Uh, if you're using a melee attack, absent anything else, you'd be using your melee. Uh, to try and hit them. So why don't you go ahead and roll an attack on melee. The defense that you've got is a defense of 14. Okay. That is just barely a hit, but not great damage. But let's say that you've got some, um, you've got some, well, look, let's say you don't have any ability to just make the, you know, uh, to roll with edge. Uh, you don't have any trait or, you know, power that lets you do that. Well, you also have Karma. Karma refreshes, it's the narrative meta currency. It refreshes every day. Once you get a good night's sleep, Karma can be used to uh, re-roll. Uh, hold on here, here we go. Karma can be used to um, uh, force trouble on the attacker. Uh, you can also spend it to gain an edge and this allows you to re-roll one of the dice so let's say that is a hit but your marvel dice is only a two 
let's say you decide, okay, I know I need to make this this hit count. I can't miss myself even if I roll a one. If I roll a one, it's a marble. It's, it becomes a fantastic success. So you spend one of your karma, give us a 1d6 roll. All right, so I assume go there and that would be there and a d6. Three, okay. So three would bump it up. That would be then um, another six on damage. That'd be 22 damage as opposed to the one. So we'd apply that to your doppelganger and then it would become their turn. Okay. Okay. Um, let's talk about, let's talk about your powers maybe first before we get into the, the, the actual damage rules. So one thing that is nice about this sheet is it does actually, I don't know, I have no earthly idea what the little toggle is for there, the little target, but what the speech thing does is it does open up your, the, the full description of the powers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we go. Uh, accuracy will go down uh, one by one. Accuracy adds plus two to the damage multiplier for agility and the game plus two uh, to agility checks other than attacks. That's why your <clears throat> non-combat bonus for agility is higher and mm -hmm. why your roll, your multiplier is a six instead of a four. You're rank four, but because of your accuracy, it's a rank, you treat it as if I'm at rank six. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mighty, this is a neat one. Uh, the way that they measure what your size is, is that they basically say that you can pick up stuff that's equal to your size. And if you um, have the mighty ability, then you just count as something bigger. You don't have like a, a, a tonnage of what you can lift up. It's just that you count as someone bigger. So, and for you, it's two sizes. Oh yeah, your character could lift a bus. So that's how that works and it grants you plus two to your melee damage modifier. Mm -hmm. So there, that's where, <coughs> excuse me, that comes in. That I think is also, um, they don't have anything that's, you know, like situational, like it is in the comics where it's only in moonlight that he gets those right. bonuses and stuff. Uh, you can add that stuff in if you choose to, but it's not part of the, the core write up for the character. Slow-mo dodge is a cool one. It's a reaction. So just like in a lot of the more modern games we play, you have like an action, a move, and a reaction. And okay. then you can, you can get extra actions as well. Reactions are, everyone gets a minimum one, and then there's a, a, a trait that I think you have that gives you extra an extra one. Oh, okay. What that means is uh, if someone attacks you with agility, so it's at range, generally speaking, then you can try and, as your reaction, impose trouble, make them reroll their best dice on it. Okay. Okay. Um, Uncanny, I think this is where your resistance comes from. Yeah, to your focus. So you reduce the damage multiplier for anything that's damaging your focus. Okay. Okay. Attack stance, this is a standard action to double the melee ability bonus. The way I picture this is this is the like crack in the neck before you get into a fight kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Um, a lot of scrappers have this this ability, it seems. Mm -hmm. Chain strikes. Uh, when making a close attack with an edge, uh, oh, you, I'm sorry, you make a close attack with an edge. If it's successful, the enemy takes regular damage. On a fantastic, you can make an additional chain strike. You'll notice this one costs five focus. Yeah, I see that. So this is where it starts getting into the things uh, starting to cost you abilities or cost you points to, to make use of them. Yep, resource management. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fast strikes. Uh, you split your attack into two close attacks, make a single melee check, compare it to both targets. On a success, the affected targets take half damage. On a fantastic, the affected target takes full damage. So that, that does not cost any focus. Exploit. Um, this one's got a trigger on it, a fantastic success on an attack using the character's weapon that deals at least one point of damage. Then as a reaction, you make a melee attack against the target's resilience defense score instead of their melee or agility. Mm. Oh, it's melee, so it would be melee. Um, if the attack's successful, the damage it uh, ignores health damage reduction. So this is how you get through. If you're able to finally get a hit on, say, Juggernaut or the Hulk or right. whatnot. I mean, the resilience defense is probably going to be pretty high too. But um, yeah, so that's that. Um, you've got fast attacks. This is the cheaper version of the, um, uh, what is it, the split attack? 
or yeah, too fast close strike. To try to targets within range. On a fantastic damage. Mm. Wow. Can make a bonus attack. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So this is kind of a uh, combo of uh, the other two. Oops, I targeted that. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. All right, uh, vicious attack. Character makes a close attack. If uh, the attack is a success, the enemy takes regular damage. On a fantastic success, takes double damage and suffers the weapon's special effect. Mm. So that's how you would trigger stuff like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, then whirling frenzy. Uh, you make an agility check and compare it against the agility defense of every enemy within reach. This is your whirlwind attack, I guess. Uh -huh. For success, they take half regular damage. On a fantastic success, the enemy takes full damage and suffers the weapon's special effect. Okay. Oh, That's and the cool. way special effects work is uh, this is how you distinguish, like, you know, uh, Johnny Storm's fire blast from, you know, Cyclops' optic blast. They're okay. both basically the same power. Uh, in under energy manipulation, but it just the special okay. effect is something that uh, triggers from that. Um, so that's what they're referring to there. Double tap. This is oh yeah, this is the range attack, range equivalent of making. Uh... Oh, this no, this isn't the multiple attack. Oh yeah, that's a. That's a takedown. Yeah, that's a damage. Yeah. Okay, then slow motion dodge shoot. 10 focus, uh, you split your attack and make two range attacks against separate attack, separate targets, make a single agility check and compare it to the target's agility defenses on a success. Uh, mm -hmm. The effect target takes half regular damage on a fantastic, it takes full damage and the character can make a bonus attack with his power against any available target within range. Uh, when the character moves, is moved or starts their next turn, they instantly fall prone. Uh, until that happens, all attacks against their agility defense have trouble. Oh, okay. because you're like falling back, I guess. And... Yeah, you, you're. Or I always think kind of a little bit about like the Matrix. You know, you, yeah. you're diving sideways with the guns blazing. That's what I was thinking about. But yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, snap shooting. Uh, character splits their. Attack makes two ranged attacks against separate targets. Make a single agility check and compare it to the target's agility defenses. On success, an affected target takes regular damage. On a fantastic, takes full damage and is bleeding. That's kind of like a similar to the double tap. Yep. Where it leaves him bleeding. Let me see. But two, two see targets of this. Yeah. And then finally, weapons blazing. You split your attacks to make two ranged attacks. Make a single agility check and compare it to the target's agility defenses. Blah, 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 blah. On fantastic success, the target takes full damage, and then you can make a bonus attack with this power against any available target with the same effect. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And so that's that, oh, that's ranged. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's all your powers. So that's a lot, uh, but you know, uh, I don't think that if you if you remember a quarter of them, that gives you some good options to work with, and then you would learn you would learn more the little more you play the character. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So then the traits. Uh, let's see here. Battle ready. That's just a background one. Grants you more focus. Mm -hmm. um, combat reflexes. Oh, this is the one I was saying. You get an extra reaction each turn. Extra reaction. Connections military. Uh, so you. Oh yeah. So you can ask favors of folks in the military. Connections police. Same thing. Thing. extra occupation this is a background one you get traits and tags from your um from your occupation when you create a character so what this does is just it means that he's got an extra occupation mm -hmm. um interrogation you have an edge on ego or logic checks when you're asking questions investigation you have an expert let's say character is an expert investigator mm -hmm. edge on vigilance checks to spot clues and logic checks relating to interpreting clues and you gain a second edge if you have a lab. That's cool. Iron Will. Uh, you have an edge to resist mind control or other compulsions. Uh, piloting edge on agility checks when you're piloting or driving a vehicle. And situational awareness. You have an edge on initiative checks. That's kind of cool. Oh, cool. Cool. All right. And then let's see here. Do you have tags? 
These do not have mechanical. What is? Hold on. What's going on here? Attack, dodge. Oh, that's neat. Here we go. Attack, dodge, escape, grab, help. What's going on here? Under the actions up there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's just an. In this is just like a rules reference, I think, because it doesn't I actually. Mean, that's what I was fixing to say. Is that what it is? It's actually. A... I guess. Yeah. It's curious choice to have that on the country well, the dodge one though i mean like that if you say i take the dodge action yeah this is actually kind of this is you know what it is helpful because this shows you precisely what you can do in a round right your economy yeah you yeah. yeah okay so and then the tags are just these are things that are more background oh you got a signature weapon though yeah the truncheon and the the darts you know yeah Okay, and I'm just gonna double check in the rule book what that mm -hmm. actually does. I thought that uh, there was something that interacted with that, but I'm not seeing mm. it on the sheet here. So there's a lot to the character sheets, right? Like they're- Yeah, there, there's, I mean, I guess on a certain level there is, it's not too much busier though than Savage Worlds. No, and I, I think that, um, each of them is a fairly straightforward thing, right? And you, yeah. The uh, once you've once you're familiar with what they those options are. All right, uh, signature weapon. All right. Let me see, Moon Knight. I don't see in, in the rule book here that there's a, a clear uh, bonus you get with it. So, oh, hold see. on. So it's a... Yeah, your signature weapons were a uh, knife or throwing knife or a truncheon, a club. So the special... Let's see here. The weapons are in one of the earlier parts here. The way that uh, the game works is it's not... You know, you, you don't really have like a core... Uh, damage from your certain weapons. What you have is a multiplier, and then mm -hmm. it, you, if, how does it work? There's a thing with like, for super strong characters, like it's some games when they have the flat modifier of, you know, like plus X amount of damage, it always makes sense to pick up shit and smash people with it, right? Because yeah. it's an additive. So like, why wouldn't you, if you're the Hulk, pick up stuff? In this, it is, um, I think it's if your mighty is better than the weapon, then you use the mighty bonus instead. Right, yeah. Which is why we don't see, yeah, here it is. Weapons that add uh, a bonus to the user's damage multiplier. This does not stack with any other damage multiplier, so don't add them together. This is why okay. the Hulk doesn't walk around with an ax. Um, yeah. But, 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 but. Hmm. So I'm actually not too sure what your signature weapons, uh, why that's, uh, you know, uh, a benefit. I will say too, like on the character sheet, it organizes it by, in the print one, it organizes it by the different power categories. So like, okay, this is all backwards on my camera, I realize, but like basic stuff. No, I can't, I can't. Yeah. Melee weapons, range attack. Mm -hmm. So it's a little easier to recognize what, you know, what's what. Right. On it. So this is not the ideal way of, of looking through it. So, but anyway, the, um, so that's what you've got. The way that um, actions work, we can use that reference thing. Every round. Where is it here? There we go. Start of each combat, uh, each combatant makes a initiative check. Uh, it's a Marvel roll, a D616, uh, adding their initiative modifier. Uh, you, you you have edge on yours. Um, mm, 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 mm. So on your turn, you can take one standard action, one movement action. Standard actions are attack, dodge, escape, grab, help, move, or use a power. Uh, movement actions are to move your basic speed or use, you know, one of the other speed rates you've got. I think, let's see, is it under your, yeah, speed and size, there you go. That's how many squares you can move. Yep. 
Okay. And uh, your reactions as well. Reactions are escape, uh, if you've been pinned or whatnot. Fastball special, if an ally throws you, you can uh, um, make a close attack against someone you've been thrown against. Help a teammate, which uh, grants them edge on an attack uh, check. You can interpose uh, when someone within your reach is the target of an attack uh, that doesn't also target you, you can interpose yourself. Ram, you move at full speed in a straight line towards a target and then use your standard action for additional movement to move right up to the target. You can then use your reaction to make a close attack. Uh, so that, that's an interesting way of doing it because you've got, rather than um, you know making charge a separate action, it's basically robbing you of a reaction later in the, in the, in the thing, in the round. Yeah. Uh, release and then skulk. Uh, if you're the target of an attack and someone within your reach is not a target, you move for free behind that person and they become the new target of the attack. That's cool. It's really a neat one, yeah. All right. Um, that's the so the uh, the options that you've got are pretty simple. Let's um. Oh. Okay. So first off, do you have any questions about what we've gone through so far? I don't think so. I, I assume reach is basically um, anything that's a square that touches yours. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That, that sounds right. Okay. Yeah, I figured it was. Okay. Um, yeah, oh. I, I'm pretty good, I think. Let me go through karma because I think there's other things you can do with karma as well. Okay. So I think you can take an extra action with karma. I had that in my head last night when we were playing Dark Souls. And I'm pretty sure I got that from... It isn't the case in Dark Souls, but I'm pretty sure I got it from this game. Okay, here we go. After a character makes an action, they can spend a point of karma to get edge. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, so that's your start, standard number. You can't spend more than one karma on any given action check. Here's how you earn karma. Uh, you did an excellent job role playing. You rescued someone. You went out of your way to help someone. You made an inspiring speech. You shouted your catchphrase at an appropriate moment, or one of the characters' challenging traits came into play. Oh, there's one other neat thing. We were playing with others. There was also a teamwork thing that you decide beforehand, and it's neat. And what it is, it it you you select a certain maneuver that is going to be something you can always use as an action or uh, as a reaction. I think. And it's things like, uh, where is it here? Here we go, maneuver level. So you guys are rank, you're rank four. So you could choose yeah. up to rank two. Uh, a rank two maneuver costs you 10 focus to activate, but it's things like a rank two offensive team maneuver. The team members can each reroll all their dice on an attack they make this round. They get to use the better result. Ooh. This is the like, take him down kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, defensive team maneuvers, all team members have damage reduction four for this round. Now, remember, that's minus four to the multiplier for it. So, right. And then, or rally team members. Each member of the team can make a recovery roll for either health or focus as if they'd spent a point of karma. That's Captain America. Oh, that's America. what I was thinking of. Hold up. That's uh, the recovery. There's a second win mechanic where you spend a karma and then you make a... 66 roll, I think, and then you multiply it by... Where is it here? Recovery, here we go. During combat, it requires an action. Uh, you make it, To recover health, make a resilience check. To recover focus, make a vigilance check. The target number for either is a 10. If you fail, nothing's recovered. On a success, total up the number uh, normally and multiply it by your rank. So you take all the... What do you call it? Um... Oh, sorry. Um, what you do is um, you total that up, multiply it by your rank, and that's how many points you get back. Costs you karma okay. to do that, uh, and you can't spend a second point of karma on the roll. So it does. It is really a kind of all or nothing hail mary kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, if a character is unconscious or demoralized, a teammate can use an action to spend a point of karma to help the character recover too. Um, to help with focus, you must be able to communicate with them. The character makes the role using their own ability score in either case. 
If you hit zero for health, you're unconscious. If you hit zero for focus, you are demoralized. And demoralized characters just have trouble on all their roles. Okay. And that's neat for uh, because um, focus plays into triggering a lot of powers. Uh, then that's it's a neat way of doing that. And then there are characters like Juggernaut, who when they hit zero, the only penalty they have is that they don't suffer trouble. Huh. Yeah. So it is. Yeah. yeah. yeah awesome. Uh, okay. So then. That's that. Let's. Um, that's probably the most uh, talky talky way to, to introduce the game. But there's a lot going on. So at the very least, if some of that sticks to the wall, then y you'll know at least where to look for things. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so so. Let's do this. Let's grab old Moon Knight. Come here, Mark. Or Jake. Or uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't think I've actually used this map yet. Oh, and it's hexes. Let me change it over to squares. There we go. Let's slide out. Let's throw you in the thick of things. All right. I think I did grab Mark. There we go. Bring over to the side streets here, Mark. Let's see. Yeah. And let's put you up top here. Put you down. You know what? Maybe I'll put your bars outside. Oh, yeah? Just so you can see that, you know, if you're going uh -huh. if you're playing a Moon Knight, well, it feels like you really should be able to see Moon Knight. So, for today, normally when we have lots of tokens on the table, that gets uh, kind of cumbersome. Yeah. But you, let's do this here. Let's put you back here because you are pursuing. Let me see if I've got a list here. Oh, is it not? Hmm. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it's in here. Where the heck? It's in here for sure. It's in the book. Ah, here it is. Here it is. I just can't read. Just got to populate the character sheet. I'm not going to make use of this. I'll roll actual dice because that might be faster. But let me show you what... Uh... There we go. Oh, let me set the... Okay. This music is far too chipper for... Uh, <laughs> for Moon Knight. <laughs> okay. Now, let me make sure you can see... Player permissions. Here we go. There you go. You can see the bar, but not the numbers? Yeah, I can see a blue bar and a red bar. That's correct. Okay. Okay, so to give context, these uh, you are chasing two vampires. Oh, boy. These have... Um, they are ranked two. Okay, what the fuck? I'm using... Can you get away? You get away. There's turn order. Here we go. There's turns, yep. Okay. Um... Now, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. to start the round, let's assume you, you've been chasing these things for a bit here. Let's 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 just roll some initiative. So I'm going to add turn uh -huh. here. I think you can click on your token yep. and then roll yep. initiative. And we'll see how that works. You have edge on it too, so you are going to be able to re-roll one thing. Let me see what uh, okay. they get. Yep. There we go. I need. Let's see these two. I'm using some noble knight dice. Oh, nice. Okay, and I'll use my marble dice. Do I have a red one? Sure. Oh, I do. Here we go. All right. Okay. So that, uh, now you have edge. Which of the dice do you want to re-roll there? I mean, one of the ones, obviously. Go right ahead. Roll D6. Uh, I got a total of, what is that? Seven, eight, nine. Uh, 10, 11. 
Oh, well, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> a one and a one, all right. Uh, Gee, it really is like Savage Now, Land. the thing is, you do actually have, um, you do have karma. You haven't spent any karma this round. You can only spend one. Do you want to keep that karma for the fight or let the vampires go first or? Um, yeah, let's let them make the first move. All right. So then for El Vampiros, um, Okay, and we're gonna try uh, two different things here. For one, the first one is going to use his move. Uh, I'm gonna okay. zoom in for the folks at home too, so you can see. These are the tokens. We've dragged and dropped the tokens down. Let me make sure that, hold up, I'm not, yeah. I'm gonna make sure I'm setting it so the tokens are generic. They're not linked to the character sheet because I think that Bush League mistake where I adjust the health on one of them and then all, <laughs> all of them are suddenly hurt. Mm -hmm. All right, so these guys are racing along. Um, we'll figure out what, you know, as we play, what the reason is that you're chasing them. Mm -hmm. All right, so their run is a five. So he is going to, the first one, one, two, three, four, five. And, hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And... Yeah, and then we'll, he'll move again and try and leap off the side and kind of claw his way down this three-story building. Okay. Um, so I'll make a, let's say a challenging, so for him that'll be a 12 uh, agility check here. So let's see, I, roll, I should roll this in chat actually so we're all able to see and interpret the dice rolls the same. Let me just do that. Uh, 3d6. All right, so we'll always treat the middle dice as the marble dice. I guess that'll just be easier. Yeah, I think it, it highlights it in that color. Oh, it does. One yeah, yeah, just but I'm rolling dice yeah. rather than the actual character sheets because yeah. the, the characters are a pain in the butt. Uh, yeah. So that is, I get plus two. That is a 10. I'm actually failing that. Uh, so he is going to fall. Mm. Uh, yeah. Jinkies. Fortunately, he is sturdy, so falling damage. Let's see here. Is, where is it here? Situational is at the end. The actual rules section is really not that big. I am looking forward to when the, the first adventure comes out to see how they interpret the rules, because I feel like there's a lot of neat ways, like the, the kind of like neat, you know, uh, mini game mechanics we see in like PF2 or uh dnd &D fourth uh i feel like you can do the same thing with this there's enough like meat to the rules to do that mm -hmm. um device weapons where is falling 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 uh, falling here we go um mm -mm 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 -mm. damage multiplier for the roll is one for every two spaces that they fall up to a maximum multiplier of 10. so i said three stories each one is, mm -hmm. so let's say it is six uh, down. So that is two. He slams into the ground, but the damage reduction reduces it down to a zero. Mm. So there's people on the street who kind of scream and like, ah! Yep. And he gets up and kind of, his yep. neck kind of props back together. The other one is going to stagger out here and he's going to turn and try and use... Uh, now I think uh, I looked this up before. I think I need to do something before I can actually try and mind control you. Here we go. Command. So I need to establish a telepathic link with you first. So here we go. Telepathic link. Oops. Oh, so I'm making a bunch of noise here. Here we go. Telepathic link. It's a standard. Uh, thing I must make a logic check against your vigilance defense. What's your vigilance defense? My vigilance defense is 12. 12. And I also have the iron will trait, which gives you trouble on ego attacks. Oh, right, right, right. What's well, ego attacks? This is a logic attack. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, my bad. Does it does it say also logic or only? No, it just yeah. Here, um, uh oh. Yeah. You still got me. I still got you. Yeah. What happened? Um, we lost power for a second because it's storming in here. Oh. And I was afraid my inner my internet might have lost. <laughs> no, I still that got you. Did. There was enough to turn the TV off, but that's it. So okay. <laughs> All right, because uh, you're getting edge on ego checks to break to break free of stuff. Okay, so here we go. But first, the telepathic link. Let's see. Um, so I rolled. Oh, terrible. That's a his logic is a plus one. So that is an eight. So he turns and kind of gestures at you and says, "Come, um, you know, um, you are my slave." And that doesn't seem to be the case. No. So then it is your turn. What would you like to do? So, yeah, I guess, um, let's see. What about range of powers as far as, like, distance? I don't remember seeing anything specific for that. Like, um, I don't think there is. We don't yeah. have to worry, really. Yeah, I don't think you really have to. Let me double check here. I don't think that's really a thing in the game. Okay. Let me check here. Elemental Blast. Oh, there is range. It tells you how many spaces. So Elemental Blast is 10 spaces. Okay. Uh, for you're thinking of like your throne, your truncheon. Yeah, I was thinking about throwing some of the um with the crescent darts. The dogs, crescents. Yeah, let's see here. Mm. Turn that off. Yeah, I don't. I do not know. Let's see, in yeah, combat, I, did, I didn't see. Uh, bah, bah, bah. what was he? Um, can you click on one of your ranged uh, powers? Yeah, let's see. Um, there's see. one. So yeah, that so, says within two spaces, obviously. Okay, so that one's within two spaces, but I don't think all of them have that. Yeah, let me go grab another one if I can find it. See that says. Okay, snap shooting. So it's two range attacks. Okay, so let's go to range check here. Okay, for a range attack, the target must be within the attacker's line of sight and double the weapon's uh, listed range. Most of the time, the attacker makes a agility check against the agility defense. Okay, that doesn't help. Game. <laughs> so I have no idea what the fucking range is. No, I just, I, you know, I just like, I don't want to. You know, screw that up or nothing. No, and I think so. Give some common weapons here. Like thrown, uh, thrown knives are five spaces away. Mm -hmm. So I guess maybe that's how far away that's supposed to be. I would, I would buy that. Yeah. Let's see here. So yeah, so then I could move to get within the five because I can yeah. move three. And then I could make that attack. Isn't three? Oh, I mean, you're you're not limited. Don't you have a move of six? Well, yeah, but it says run speed is six. Yeah. Okay, so I could I can move up to six. Okay. Yeah, there's no exactly up to six when you're when you're on the ground. It's it's like some of the uh, there's been a couple of games that have done this where they dealt away with the walking thing, which I like uh -huh. because like who the fuck is strolling when you're in combat? You know, <laughs> like of course you're running around. You're moving as fast as you can mm -hmm. all right so you race up towards this chucklehead and then yep. what would you like to do i'm gonna throw one of those uh one of those crescent darts at him Love and it. let's see okay the 19. so 19 is a hit uh that's not a marvel on there yeah. Uh, so 19 is a solid hit. Let me find the stats for this guy again. Vampire. There we go. All right. So, um, yeah, that is a solid hit on him. 29 damage. He does have... Okay, now here's where... Well, I guess it's not that bad. We just have to do the math in our head. So it does have damage reduction for health. So that'll reduce it by 2, which means that's actually 4 times 4 is 24... No, four times four is 16, plus five is 21. So that's 21 points of damage on this guy. Cracks him across. Oh, you used your crescent dart, didn't you? 
Yeah, yeah, I threw that. Yeah. You didn't use any of your powers to do like multiple attacks or to. No, no, I, I just, I let, you know me, I start simple, work yeah. my way up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he is, um, yeah, quite badly uh, banged up by it. All right, then it is, is, is that it for you? Um, yeah, for now, it's a move and an action, yeah. Okay, so then it is um, his turn. Um, he is going to, we'll do the guy on the roof first. Let's have him get into a scrap with you. So he'll race forward. Yeah! Okay. He's gonna try, your melee defense is a 14, right? Yes. 14, okay, so he gets plus three, no, plus uh, two on this. Uh, and, oh, but that's a one on the marble dice. So that is actually 12, 13, 14, 15. So he does manage to connect with you. And because of that marble dice, no, you could spend karma to give me trouble on a dice. I'd have to reroll that marble result. Let me see, Rick. Here, let okay. me tell you what the damage would be first. Okay. So he's got a, a multiplier of times three because he's mighty. So that would be six times three is uh, 18, uh, 19, 20. It'd be 20 points of damage for you. Okay. And then damage you, reduction. Uh, well, you don't have any damage reduction for physical. Okay. That's what I wanted to make sure because I was looking at the sheet and I wanted to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's... Um... So what you could do is impose uh, trouble on me and make me re-roll. If I roll... A... Yeah, let's do that. Let's, I'll go ahead and spend a karma for that. Okay. So you see this thing's uh, claws coming in. Uh, I'll just roll 1d6 here. I got a six. <laughs> so it's not a... Fa but the, the upside is it's not a fantastic result. And actually, let's quickly right. talk about that. What fantastic results in combat mean. Because often there's some like extra thing that, that triggers with it. Mm -hmm. If you're using a power, these guys don't have any special power attacks, but let's take a look here. Okay. Oh, double the normal damage on a fantastic. So there's a reason why you don't want the that Marvel hit. All right, so wow. the net result is you still take the, what did we say, 24? 20. 20 points of damage? Yeah, I yeah. think that's right. Yeah. All right, and then this guy uh, is going to try and intercept someone on a motorcycle. I'm going to try and grab that, okay. so let's see here. Holy smokes. Yeah, some guy, blah, his motorcycle goes forward. He knocks him off of there. Uh, that would do six, uh, no, that'd be nine, 10, 11 points of damage. Nearly kills the guy with the uh, single hit. Um, ben, Moon Knight, you're up next. What are you doing? Um, yeah, I guess I need to hit this guy again. Let's see what have we got from melee. Okay, good powers that would help with that. You've got that um, one as well that targets resilience on a, uh, but that's on a fantastic success. The what's it called? But I've got I've got the um I've got that attack stance, which doubles yeah the melee ability bonus to damage. That is a standard action to, to activate though. Oh, and you know what? We forgot that you had hold up. You had a reaction. I was looking at the reactions. I don't think I saw anything that would do right now let me see oh yeah because slow-mo dodge works only with range attacks right or things that attack your agility yeah escape festival special no there wasn't anything that uh ignore me okay okay <laughs> so your melee are exploit fast attacks vicious attack or whirlwind frenzy and martial arts actually attack stands chain strikes or fast strikes so There's some neat ones too where you can, like their their background uh, traits, either traits or, or basic powers that allow you to sub different skills for defenses. So like, you know, Spider-Man has a really good, I can't remember what, what stat is, that's quite high, but he gets to sub that in for a couple of defenses. If you're a really oh. agile character, you could sub your your agility score for your melee in, uh, in melee. So they have to target 
a higher target number. Yeah. Yeah, let's do, I think the, I think it's the vicious attack is a standard action. Let's see here. Why don't you click on the speech bubble? Yep. There we go. Uh, oh, nice. And the special effect. So let's see what the special effect would be for this. Special effects are in the powers section, I think. Right at the beginning. Here we go. Maybe not. Is it in the combat section? Let's see. Where is the index? Let's take a look there. Here we go. Special effect 1314, right at the beginning. Okay. All right, so let's see what it says. It actually might be in the companion, too. You should have access to that. If Yeah, I'm searching it while you're doing that. Oh, I'm okay. looking over here. Cool. <laughs> the teamwork makes the dream work. Heck, yeah. Okay, that just says that it's a fantastic success. I know I've seen it in here. I just don't know mm -hmm. where, where the heck. All right, let's try that. Let me try something else. Well, let's, let's just, uh, you know, I know where the, it's got to be in here somewhere. Uh-huh. It's just, uh, and the, the rules section, here we go, conditions, nope. No, uh, where the heck is it? Oh, is it in the powers? I think it's under the elemental power, maybe? Let's take a look here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Under elemental control. Um, oh, wait. I think I found it, Kevin. Where is it? Yeah. So, let's see. Um, should be under power sets for melee weapons. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Shot. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, stun for one round on uh, for blunt weapons and sharp uh, bleeding. Awesome. Okay, cool. There we go. So now we know. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> there's we know where to look. All right. Yeah. So it's your a melee attack. Yeah. So your trunjan oh, comes out. Yeah, fifteen. But I got a. Oh, that's a potential fantastic. That is a fantastic success. Cool. So and you, uh, I don't think you've. Yeah, you're not spending any focus, so it's not a you don't get edge on this. But uh, mm -hmm. so, and this thing does have damage reduction too, so that means. 24, so it's 28 damage, but then that's doubled up to 56. Uh, so, yeah. What's it look like as you take this vampire well and truly down? I think, uh, let's see. He had come at me, pulled out the truncheon, and just probably just really just waylaid it up against his skull. And I think his skull just fractures. Yeah. You know, just the head kind of pops like an overripe tomato <laughs> nice all right so he is on the ground and not uh, oh he does have hold on he's got a healing factor yeah i know he's, he's a vampire let's see here at the end of each turn they regain health equal to their resilience okay so let me put him down on the ground here I think we can assume. So we can assume you probably know this stuff, but because it's fun, why don't you give us a a logic check uh, okay. with an edge? Okay. Let's see now, you, how do I do that? So you should just click on it again. You can't roll with an edge. You just have to. That this is one of the okay. shortcomings of the sheet right now. Okay, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't screwing something up. Fifteen. So that's definitely a success. Um, you, what you, what, what I'm thinking is that we're rolling to see if you knew you were facing vampires. So you right. have some kind of measure, because even though you've cracked this guy's skull open, you know that he's going to be starting to regenerate. Yeah. What's yeah. what's the measure? Do you think that you've taken to uh, to be able to secure them permanently or take them down um, permanently? I would think. 
okay, this is me thinking, and and I this has been somewhere in the continuity. I'm almost positive. Yeah. But I want to say that his weapons were silvered. Yeah. I want to say that. So I would think he knows enough to know that he could probably at least take one of those crescent darts. Yeah. And jam it into his heart. Okay. I would think he would know that, and I think that would be he would know that would be sufficient to stop it at this yep. point. Yeah. I buy that. Okay. So he okay. is down. All right, so then uh, on the other vampire's turn, he is going to race over and recover the motorbike. Your turn, what are you doing? Uh, let's see here, let me go find another bad guy real quick. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, I see him, all right, good deal. So I need to move over there now. I thought I, I can't, I thought I saw something that I had a move with um, swinging. Let me see if I yeah, can find connections, movement, Was it when you were Oh, hey, you got a swing of what, three, five? It's probably a three. Let me click on that and I'll go over here to my movement. Okay, you can swing at your listen swing line movement. And that is. I don't have a listed swing line speed though. Uh, I've got oh. climb, swim, jump, and run. Yeah, yeah, same thing for the character sheet. Hold up. Let's. Uh... Yeah. Where, where was that listed? Swing line. Was that a power? Um, it, it's, it's an under actions and it, it's under movement. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Mm, let's see here. It's, like I know, I think that at least in some version of it, um, Moon Knight does have that, right? Yeah, and and maybe maybe that's it. Maybe those are just all general movement actions based on if you have the power or whatever. So maybe yeah. maybe he does. We'll see if so it's that's the run. I just had, I I had I had seen it earlier. Yeah, yeah. Let's we'll see. I'm gonna take a look at Spider Man and see what he's got for, for that. Yeah, it may be a power or something. Yeah. Okay. Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Here we go. There is a spider power called web slinging. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. And he has a swing line movement listed. Okay. Uh, that must be it then. It's just all the different types of movement you do. It doesn't mean you actually have that. Okay, yeah. Although, so, just, but here sure. is something that's a really, a, a really nice uh, thing about the game. Um, Basically, if you have, um, uh, if you have, uh, if you, like, if there's a power that you're, you feel like you're missing, uh, what we can do is we can dump a power that's listed here and just add that one in to fit the vision of your uh, of your character. The one thing okay. it is is be, if you with the um, because that one is coming from this is just rules as written, but because that one okay. is coming from a separate power set and web slinging is from the spider powers power set, it would mean that you would have one less bonus power. So we would actually be taking two of your powers away to get that one. But let me see if it actually fits. I'll bet you it, or at least it should be in one of the other kind of movements. I'm slinging. How do they do it for Daredevil, actually? Because Daredevil, for sure. That would be a really good model. Yeah. Um, oh, it's an iconic weapon. That's his power. Uh, which is a basic power. Grants plus one damage multiplier and grants the swing line movement with a speed equal to triple his run speed. That makes sense for me. Or to me. So let's just, I mean, we'll, we'll assume one, because the basic powers, everybody has access to those. If your iconic power is a truncheon similar to that, mm -hmm. you're my, it, the, the plus one bonus of damage won't do fuck all because you've got, um, what do you call it? Uh, you've got your uh, mighty is, is a higher mm -hmm. damage multiplier, but it means that, let's just assume you've got a swing line of three times, so 18 would be your swing line speed. Okay. So that was a so long yeah, walk to get to you having to move. <laughs> Your action, what would you like to do? Yeah, we're definitely going to... Uh, <laughs> you can assume that some of these things are tall towers. I'll let you make your movement with, with your swing line speed as if you're like swinging around on the roof. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would think he would swing. Let's see here. Let me get my EO measuring stick. Mm -hmm. It's 30. That's 15 squares away. You got 18 you can move. Yeah. Yeah, so he could get over there. That's what I wanted to make sure of. Uh, yeah, so now is he on the motorcycle, Kevin? Uh, he has just picked it up. He's just picked it up. Yeah. So, yeah, I... Mm, yeah, let's just go ahead and swing. I tell you what, yeah, let's swing right in front of it. Let's kind of okay. do that. Okay. Is that agreeable? Is that too obnoxious? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> so you land. I think that's very Moon Knight. White, your yeah. cloak spread out. Mm -hmm. You land on top of this. You still have a uh, standard action to take. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. And uh, take a look at see oh. if there's anything that's uh, focus based that could... Let me get my sheet back up. I'm having to go from the map to the sheet periodically because yeah. I can't get to pop out. Well, I'm um, let me see flipping here. through the book quite a bit right now, too. Yeah. So. <laughs> and we're looking for... Um, I was thinking... Actually, what I was thinking about doing is just grabbing the motorcycle since I'm strong enough to move a bus. Oh, yeah, yeah. By jerking it out from under him. Basically. Sure. Yeah. Let's just make this. Okay. So, uh, contested rolls are just against the other character's um, abilities. Uh, why don't you make it against uh, his melee, uh, which will be a 13, is your target number. Okay. Just give us a. And uh, this will be. You can add your non combat check to this because yeah, th that'll add your might or your mighty. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. 14. It's, it is good enough. So you yes. yank it out from under him. He wow, kind of, um, you know, with inhuman reflexes, as if it's from a Blade film. Rolls to the yeah. side, kind of lands in a yeah. in a um, in a uh, kind of a like a, a ready to pounce kind of stance over here. But you have the know. yeah the bike out from under him. Do you want to say anything? Um, let's see what would Moon not say. I've already killed your partner permanently. You want to be next? He. Let's see, I've got a. Okay, I'm going to try and grab you, actually. All right. Let's see, we'll try those grapple rules. Always a good test of a I, new yeah, I system. Know. Kevin's like, let's bust out the grapple. <laughs> exactly. All right, so grab is uh, make a melee check against melee defense. On a succeed, I grab the target, and then I can try and bite you because I'm a vampire. Mm -hmm. On a fantastic success, you are pinned as well. And you got those conditions in your character sheet, I noticed as well. Yep. So he yep. trying to, like, you know, spears India to try and t take you down. Let's see how I do here. Ooh, 14 is enough to hit you. Mm -hmm. You could give me trouble if you'd like. Yeah, definitely going to do that. Let's go ahead and... Okay, so I'll re-roll that five. Let's see here. Son <laughs> of a... <laughs> yeah. oh. All right, so he oh, hits you. It's not a fantastic success. You were just grabbed. And let's okay, so see what the right grab uh, condition does. Boy, I can't wait for the Game Master screen for this one. Okay, grab. Uh, neither the grab character nor the grabber can move unless they carry the other person with them. You certainly are mighty enough to do that. Anyone making an attack against the entangled characters has trouble. Um, it may hit both of you. Let's see here. Yeah, really, that's it. It says you can't move unless you can carry the person. And uh, attacks against you, but there's no one else attacking you right now. Might hit... Um, uh, what do you call it? Might hit uh, either of you if they don't care. Um, but there, and I've got my hold on. I got my life leech ability. Those fangs come out, uh -huh. and life leech does or leech life. It's a reaction, so I spend five focus. Oh, so this is an ego attack against your resilience. You, it's only uh, for resisting control, right? That's where your yeah, ego... I think so. Let me read it again. To control the mind or influence their behavior. Okay. So it'll cost me five focus to do this. Five. All right. 
And then, so and what's your resilience defense? 13. 13, okay. I am, my ego is terrible. I got plus one to this. Actually, I can just do this. Here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, you could give me trouble with the karma, or you might save that karma for something else. Ten, ten. Let's see, that's a 10. You would, oh, you would have to roll. Three or the odds. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't think the odds are that good if I spin the karma. So I think I'll just hold on to that for Okay. Me. All right. So then uh, my ego multiplier is times two, but I got a. You've got resilience. Oh no, this says health damage. So ignore me. Uh. Okay. So you take regular damage, which is. 10, you take 10 points of damage, okay. and then this thing would heal for five of it, so it does sink its teeth into you. Rawr, rawr. Then it is, and remember you can spend a karma at any point to try and uh, recover your health. Okay. Then, um, so that was the vampire is that action, or is that a free action, basically? I think it's an action. Okay. I think oh, that's what sure. we saw before. Let's double check. All right. Uh, recovery. Here we go. During combat, this requires an action. Okay. All right. So you sink your teeth in, or it sinks its teeth into you. Uh, we leave you with. You've got your hands on this bike. You've got this thing around you. Uh, yep. You are currently grabbed. What do you do next? Uh, let's see. I think the first thing really is to try and escape, honestly. Which is a reaction. Yeah, I saw that. I've got it listed. Actually, it's on my sheet. It's listed in both actions and reactions. Oh, probably because so you can just go ahead and. I yeah, was gonna say I could make, take it as a reaction now. Yeah, yeah. Before your turn. And, and then have my regular action. Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure I was clear on that before I didn't. Yeah, no, I think that's, that's so right. That's neat. It's uh, in both. Okay, so you're going to make a melee check against their melee defense. Right. Okay, so then... And this is only a 12. I don't think Mighty technically um, runs it, plays into this. Would... Dumb question. You said it, you don't think it plays into it? I don't think it does either way, which means that your Mighty doesn't necessarily benefit you, their Mighty doesn't benefit them. Okay, so just a regular one. Let I me double you. check that. Hold on, I'll, I'll double check. Okay, well. See what it says in the melee checks other than attacks. They do. It does use your your non. It's called non combat on the character sheet, but that's not right. that's not accurate. Not necessarily. Yeah. yeah. So it should say non attack rolls. Okay, so that is a 13 total, which uh, they're, that's, that's just enough to hit their melee defense, so that would be enough to, to get yourself free. So yeah, so he definitely, he breaks free, and then he's probably gonna like, I don't know, kick him or something. Yeah, so that was on, at the, on their turn, your reaction was for you to knock him off yet? Yeah, he hits the ground, blood coming down his face. <laughs> Um, uh, you have a full slate point. of actions. You got to move. You got uh, standard. What would you like to do? Yeah. That's, I'm working. On, let me see if I can find any of these. With an edge. Yeah. Okay. So let's see here. So this takes five focus. Mm -hmm. Says I make it with an edge. Hmm. Yeah, so that's, you make it with an edge, and if you hit uh, with a fantastic success, a chain strike, another attack. That's awesome. Do it again. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so we'll go ahead and go with uh, melee on that. Yep. It's a, that's a and then, fantastic success. Oh, you actually have, so you do have um, edge on that, but honestly, you've already got a hit. There's no reason to roll it otherwise, because it doesn't, okay. the, the marble dice is the only one that affects your, uh, the effect. So go ahead. And, oh, you know, we can actually roll. Yeah, roll on damage. I know. I, I don't know. What, I would think it was because I was thinking about the uh, escape. Totally. Yeah, like... yeah. Okay, so we know, but we know it's a six, though. So it's a six times four because of their resilience. Uh, mm -hmm. That is uh, it's 24, 28, 28 damage. Yeah. What's it look like as you smash this thing in the face? 
I mean, he just, he kind of, you know, burst his arms out, got free of him, and now he just does a straight-up snap kick, just right up to the jaw. Uh, and because of Chain Strike, you can do another attack. Because you got oh, fantastic. Man. Nice. Uh, now, you do have Edge on this. So, so roll another D6. Yeah, heck yeah, roll that, and then see if that replaces the six. Heck yeah, so that, that replaces the six. That's a hit again. Six, that's same, same damage, actually, 28. Yeah. Look at this. Now, enemies, generally speaking, do not have karma, so I can't do a recovery, and I can't re-roll oh. stuff. That's sort of the balancing factor uh, between mm -hmm. NPCs and, and uh, PCs. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, anything else? I, I don't think he wants to move at this point. I think he's good. Okay, so then Vampire's turn. Now, um, you... Didn't hit with any attack that triggers the special effect with the thing, right? No, this this was all um, hand Different to hand. One. All right. Yeah. So then he is going to equal to his. Uh, where is it here? Healing factor. I can't remember the resilience score. There we go. Oh, health equal to their resilience. I think his resilience is only a two, so. Mm. He is not that durable. Yeah, resilience is a two. So he's beginning to recover a little bit here. Let's add that back in. And then he is going to uh, try and grapple you again. He's, he wants, he likes it. it got, you got to taste That's the right. conchu. So he's going to go for a little bit of a midnight snack. Again, uh, that is a miss. So it comes in, you're able to batter it aside this time. Uh, it can't quite get to you. Uh, then it is your turn once again. What are you doing? All right. So, yeah. So now let's, uh, yeah, let's definitely get the uh, truncheon out for this. Because I think, I just think on that chain strikes, it one doesn't say anything. I just realized it's got another ability under one of its tags. I just want to see oh. if it takes an action. Sure. Because it is a vampire be kind of cool if it could do something vampiric. Okay, tags, here we go. Okay, it doesn't say it's an action. Hmm. Probably, it's probably an action to transform. I'm seeing if we could turn into mist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think it is an action, probably, because like for Colossus to change form, for Emma Frost to change form, it, this seems like it takes mm -hmm. a panel for that shit to happen. So it probably he needs to take his action to do that if, if that's what he wants to do. Okay. Um, which means I'm not going to transform. What one of the neat <laughs> things you pick when you're making the characters, you you pick an origin and the way they've rather than like having to customize and build like okay, what would a vampire have? You can just there's like vampire, werewolf, Asgardian, whatever. That's where you get your tags and traits from. Yeah. Or some of them, at least, for it. So, yeah, sorry, it is your turn now. Go ahead. Well, what do you want to do? All right, so let's go ahead, and I'm going to do Chain Strike again, because that was just so useful. That was pretty awesome. And another fantastic success. Look at that. All right, I so that's... Edge, too. Do I need to roll Edge or not? Uh, again, because, like, the... the okay. You've already... If you succeeded and you rolled a Marvel dice, that's as good as things are going to get. So... Okay, you, that's what I thought. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. All right, so then... And with damage reduction, that is enough to take him down. So what's it look like as you take this vampire down? Let's see. At this point, he had... Uh, <clears throat> he had decided, let me go ahead and, and pull the... Pull the billy club, the truncheon out. Yeah. Get the club on him. And uh, let's see, he had done that kick. He comes back. And I think, he, again, he's just going for the head. And I think this time, you know, with being an undead and everything, I think he actually snaps the neck. You get a little bit of the exorcist head turning around. <laughs> 
on the spine. So yeah, I think that's what he does with this one. Okay. So then uh, with that one, it pops, hits the ground. And yep. that's when you hear a low growl from up okay. above. Let me grab this here. I'm gonna be using okay. stats of someone else here. But there's at the top, the biggest, burliest vampire biker that you can imagine. It is the Victor Creed of uh, vampire. Let me get his health set up here. And then why don't we take our mid-session break and then we'll come back and okay. see how a fight against a equally ranked uh, opponent. This will be a rank four opponent. Let's see how this works out. Oh, okay. Also, you get your two karma back. You defeated two bad guys. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. That's not technically how it works, but fuck it. Let's, uh, we want you to start with full karma. Okay, vampire right. bruiser. Let's put that down. All right. Okay, so then uh, for those listening at home, we will be back in about five minutes.
All right. Okay. I'm going to try and cheat sheet one of these guys here. Well, I'm using our the for this vampire, just because we're learning the rules and to give you context, I'm using the stats for Sabretooth. Yeah, I remember you said that. Yep. For, uh, for this, so I'm just going to put the token down here and let the sheet populate. Okay, because I think this will be helpful for cheat sheeting some of this stuff. But we've got some similar abilities to what you've got. Fast attacks. Uh, it was Chain Strike is the one you had that was really good, right? Yeah, I, th I thought it was pretty good. Ooh, Repost. I don't have that one. That is a badass. Unstoppable Assault, Vicious Attack. Vicious Attack, I thought. Yeah, that's cool. So this is the one that, this is the one that to trigger the... Um... Yeah, double damage in the... And, and the great thing about that, it doesn't cost any focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. Like, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of abilities. I remember when I read it through, like there's a lot of different things on, on your character sheets for the, uh, what for the characters, but there's a lot of it seems to recur. Um, like the, there's not an infinite list of different powers. So mm -hmm. once you learn what they are, it's not, you know, you kind of know what they are. Mm -hmm. uh, or you would learn, I guess. Okay, so for Victor, let's roll his initiative and see where he is in relation to you. Actually, let's both roll initiative again, fuck it. <laughs> Let me get rid of the uh, in here. So click in your token. Uh, oh, the yeah. bruiser click in there. Token, yeah. it shows you how long it's been. Oh, no, you know what? It seemed to do it for you already. I did. I saw that, Kevin. Yeah, that's cool. I, I, I hadn't clicked on my token. That's wild. Huh. Okay, and his vigilance is a four. And does he have... Let's see here. Um... Yeah, situational awareness. So he has an edge on this. I get to roll with an edge as well. Ooh, I'm gonna roll my 1d6. One is gonna replace this. So I got a 15. Oh, I'm still faster than you, though. All right. Hold on a second. You said situational awareness? Yeah, you've got that, right? So you got with I did, an edge. I did have that. So do you yeah, want me yeah. to roll my d6 too? Yeah, okay. yeah, roll d6. If you roll a better than a three, there you go. So you actually have a 16. Nice. Okay. So this thing is lurking on top of that three-story building. Uh, you are up first. What would you like to do? Let's see. Let me back out here and see if I can find. Okay, I see it. All right. So I guess I need to get back up there. Um, so, yeah, I got to... I guess we could just use the swing line to swing back up there. Okay. Swish. Move up to, say... Let's see. Let's move directly. Doesn't want to move right beside him. Okay. But yeah, just enough to get up there. That's my move. Yep. Um, 
I don't know if I can intimidate or anything. How does how does stuff like that work if I wanted to um, make uh, some sort of uh There isn't really there or there does not appear to be rules for just doing okay. unless you got a power um yeah. or that's what I was wondering. Yeah, there's okay. not really a way of um That's fine. Let me see here. Yeah, the two things I think I'd probably house rules. I'd, I'd have a house rule for some kind of uh, more um, non-combat uh, stuff mm -hmm. in combat uh, and also for stunting powers. Okay. Although, it's interesting. Like, it's clearly a choice. Matt Forbeck is the designer behind it. He, this guy's, you know, been designing for 30 years. He, it's clearly a design decision to not have something like that in here. Mm -hmm. You know, so. But what are you going to do? I think I'm going to use snap shooting. I think. Ooh, okay. That's against separate it's, targets? It says I can focus a single attack on a single target. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus a single attack on a single target. So I'll just make a single Our agility check. This is on a success. Oh, and it's bleeding. Cool. Yeah, so I'll try that. Yeah, go right ahead. With the old crescent. Okay, so this is against uh, agility. Is agility defense only a 14? So that is oh, a nice. hit. Yeah. Um, do you want to try and shoot for a fantastic success and karma to reroll that five? Yeah, because you take that better yeah. of the two with edge. Yeah, let's try that just to be sure. Okay. D6. Okay, same thing. No better, no worse. All right. So yep. damage, is, let's see, he does have damage reduction uh, one. So that is five times, so that's 25, so that's 30 points of damage. Go. As it cuts in, and it does not uh, cut deep enough to cause a bleeding effect, then it's his turn. Um, you now. That vicious attack sounds awesome, but there's also a one called Unstoppable Assault. I'm trying to remember what it does. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is the like smashing through stuff. I don't need to do that. What I need to do is fast attacks. I use that vicious assault, is what I want to do. Wait, is that with an edge? This is a makes a single move, compare it to melee. Half. Yeah, that fast attacks is kind of like what I just did, except it's melee instead of range, mm -hmm. I think. Well, this furious attack is pretty cool. Ooh, yeah, I see that. Of course, For... it costs focus, but yeah. Yeah. Full damage and suffers. Yeah, that's what he's doing. So this thing is going to race into you. Um, go. Oh, I can't get. It doesn't make. I'm trying to put you to the front or back or whatnot. It doesn't make a difference. Oh, sorry. All right. So then. Uh, oh no, no. I say that's not just the okay. well, twenty, right? So uh, yeah, twenty or more. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I got lots of uh, focus. Let's use twenty. Okay. So that's plus 10 damage, uh, and I don't get an edge on it, um, but let's see here. Ooh, his melee is 3d6 plus 7. Mm. Ooh. You, you, want, you could cause trouble for him if you like. Yeah, let's spin the karma just to see if that helps. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. I take the worst of the two, so uh, yeah. so that is unfortunately still a hit, but a four. Um, mm, 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 mm. I actually have a five multiplier for melee damage, so that is uh, twenty plus seven is twenty-seven plus ten is thirty-seven. Oh, oh, thirty-seven damage on you. Okay. Yeah, so I go down to something. Like, oh my god, I hit way harder than I thought. All yeah. right, so this thing is just going ape shit uh, with claws and whatnot. So your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, let's go ahead and spin some more focus. 
and we are going to. Ooh, with edge. might I make a suggestion? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, you're on twenty three. If he hits you with something similar to that, if you're just, you're gonna get fucked. He cannot spend the recovery the way you can. You could take a moment, get away. There isn't, from what I remember, a tax of opportunity in this. I don't think. Hold on, let me double check. And I said that out loud. I'm like, oh, I might get you hit. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, there's no attacks of opportunity. Okay. No, like withdraw stuff. Like that. So what you could do is take a use your like uh, your move action to kind of swing away, then spend a karma and try and recover some health. Okay, that's probably not a bad idea. So let's do that. Can't. And then, did I have? That's not even an action or anything. I don't uh, think. It is an action. What it is is a uh, resilience check against a DC ten. Okay. And then, if you succeed, you multiply it by your rank to how much health you get back. Tell me exactly. Yeah. Okay. So let's try and move. Let's be maneuverable here. Let me think. Let me see what else. He probably moves right back over there, gets some space in. Okay. And then resilience, right? Uh, yes, make a resilience check and it's a DC 10. Uh. Oh, and you can't spend karma to try and re-roll it. Oh, no. Oh, God. That's okay, though. Um, At least I'm a little further away. Yeah, yeah. You stagger back. Okay. Um, you, you can move up to 18, right, with your swinging? I, yeah, I could. I could really move away if I wanted to. I was wondering, because do you want to be subject to an attack by this thing again? And not if it can help it. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you reposition yourself where you... Uh, six, seven. I mean, let's go pretty much all the way there, I think. Okay. Should take a while for him to get over there, I hope. And, oh, actually, let me take a look. I'm going to zoom out. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just went back over to the right. So for uh -huh. his, yeah, he, one, two, three, four, five for his move. And then he springs <laughs> and lands on there. <laughs> Where are you going, hero? And it is your turn once again. So that didn't All help. Right. You could spend another karma <laughs> to try it again if you like. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's probably not a bad idea. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's do that first, because there's no order per se. Yep. Nope. No, you can um, do whatever you like. Yeah, so let's go with resilience. Come on. There we go. Fantastic success. Let's see if that has any effect. On it. Yeah, I was just looking at healing. Here we go, recovery. Um, the fantastic success doubles the amount you get back. So nice. that's a total of 14 times, uh, basically times 8. So you get all of your health back. Oh yeah, that's what's up. That was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Um, now you can move. What would you like to do? Yeah, I can move again. So let, yeah, let's play. Let's let's play that game. Spider Man does that. Why can't I do that? <laughs> Heck yeah. It's like he's always bouncing around. Let's see here. One, two, four. I think I'll move right down there. Okay. So yeah, I just move below him. All right. Okay, so for him, he's gonna race over here. And as he's running by, let me see if I need to spend an, any stuff on this. Hit run, let's see. Oh, no, no, that doesn't. Okay, so as he's racing past, he grabs like an AC unit on this. <laughs> wrenches it, he runs over and is going to hurl it at you. He's going to have trouble on this attack. Uh, what's your agility defense? Uh, let's see here. 15. 15, nice. Okay, and this is only plus four on this. Fuck me. He has trouble. He has trouble. Hold on. So this will go for the Marvel dice. Mm -hmm. A four. That's a 17. That's still a hit, but at least it's not a, a six. Right. Um, you could, remember, trouble is not a 
binary thing, one thing. You could also spend karma to give me more trouble if you like. I would. I only have one karma left. I'm going to hold on to hold that. On that. You got it. All right. To heal up again. So he heal, hurls this at you. Um, I'll give it a plus one modifier for the weapon because his mighty doesn't apply to this. So it is um, four times five is 20 plus four, 24. So 24 points of damage. Oh. And it is your turn once again. What are you doing? Seven sixty-six. Um, let's see here. So he's over there. I guess I could swing in and attempt to uh, punch him again. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's do that. All right. So let's move back up here. Let's see. Much further. Yeah, Hold up. Much I forgot. Further. He's also got uh, healing factor. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Damn blood-sucking freaks. Indeed. <laughs> All right, so you swing over, you land down. And then where is that? Is that vicious attack? Yeah, with a hitch, right? Wait, no. It's not vicious attack. What is it? Attack uh, or chain strikes. That's it. That's the one I'll Is that the one with, with the edge? Oh, yeah, because it costs yeah. you, right? Yep. Yeah, it costs five... Um, focus to do that. So Go right do ahead. That. And melee. It's a hit. Uh, yep, his defense score is a 19. That's only a two on the. Oh, you have edge. Um, That's what I was going to say. Go ahead and roll the. Yep, roll a d6. It's five, five instead. So he has uh, damage reduction one. So that is five times five is 25, 29 points of damage. Cool. All right. That's worth it. All right. Then it is his turn. I think we... Oh, 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 oh. He's got a trait berserker. What happens with that? I think he's about to go ape shit. Let's see here. Saber tooth shit, I guess. Uh, it's a trait, not a power. Okay, Berserker. Uh, often loses control of their temper. Anytime they take physical damage, they must make an ego check. I guess a TN equal to the amount of damage done. Holy shit. Like that. <laughs> if they fail, like, why have that when you're at a certain, uh, uh, you know, a certain level? There's just no way, unless I get a fantastic success, which I can't get because uh, oh, his ego's a zero. There's just no way. Uh. What a surprise. Uh, so, oh, that is a fantastic success, though. So I did get 15, technically. Still not as good as the, not good enough to resist going Berserk. Um, berserk gives the character an edge on all close attacks and plus two to their melee resistance, sorry, melee resilience and ego defenses. However, it takes minus two away from their ad, uh, agility defenses and they cannot use ranged weapons. Nice. At the end of each of the turn, they lose five focus. Whew. All right, so he is going to um, I think it's that vicious attack again. Where did I close his character sheet? Madison, come on. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Try to play a game here, man. Here we go. Uh, vicious, vicious, vicious. Here we go. The one, no, no, it wasn't that. It was furious attacks. There mm -hmm. we go. All right, yeah. Let's dump twenty in here again. Uh, yeah, single melee attack, and I get an edge on this. So there we go, plus seven. So fourteen is what I need. Uh, mm. uh, and then I'll roll. D6 doesn't. Yeah, roll D6 for the Marvel dice and see if I can get a better. If I can get a one. No. Okay. Um, so that is a hit uh, on it, and it is. Let's see here. Uh, that is five times six is thirty-seven plus ten, forty-seven damage. 
It's okay. We'll play this game. Nice. Uh, uh, then it is your turn. All right. So Remember, you can just put it. them. You can put like minus forty-seven and hit enter. Right? It'll do the math for you. Oh, son of a bitch! I'm just sitting here doing math. In my head. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'm like I can still do math. Yeah, yeah like, you know what it is because we say so often like, oh, make sure you don't put the plus sign in. Don't put when like yep, when you're yep. rolling dice, the plus sign can fuck up roll twenty. But the tokens, yep. you can have plus whatever, minus whatever, and it'll do the math for you. Yeah. All right. So we're definitely going to move away. Okay. And oh, and I lose five focus at the end of my turn too. Um. Four. I guess if you can outlast this guy, he could wait him down until he's got zero focus, and then um, he'd have trouble on all his attacks. Oh, really? Yeah, once you run out of focus, you, you've got trouble. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll move there, and then we'll go ahead and try and recover. Um, okay. Spin oh, yeah. karma, and then roll resilience. Okay, here we go. It's a 12, 12, and it's a fantastic success. So you're going to get double, so that's 4 times 12 is... Uh, f oh, wait, you know what? You might only be able to do that once per combat. Hold on. What, per encounter? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me double check. Okay. Healing, healing, healing. Here we go, recovery. Um, no, as long as you got karma, you can do it. Okay. No, that's great. So that's what, 48 we said? Uh, so that was a four times, no, because, because you rolled a fantastic success on it, it's a 48 cool. times two. You get all your health back once again. Yeah. Okay, the, I really like that. The mechanic of having a double, like two sixes on that one dice is pretty fucking mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then uh, you catch your breath once again, realizing that this thing is just nuts. So then on the vampire bruiser's turn, it will bend down and then leap five. One, two, three, four, five. You... Are you up on top of that unit there? No, I think I'm on the other side of it, actually. Oh, um, okay. Uh, let's see if he can get to you. One, two, three. Yeah, he, that's it. So, but that's all his actions. He can't take anything else. Yeah. So he's screaming. Oh, hold up. That unstoppable assault. I wonder if I could do that. Let's see here. Unstoppable assault. Standard action. forward so they can move half their speed with whatever's left. Yeah, I couldn't have gotten to you with this. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't enough. Uh, so he reaches there and then loses five more focus because of his thing, but he does because of his resilient or his healing factor, gets more health yeah. back. All right, your turn. What are you doing? Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I probably want to move again first. Okay. Get away from him some more. Uh, but I want to stay relatively close so I can make a ranged attack. Yeah. Because I, I want to be within, I think we determined five was the magic number. Mm hmm I think that's correct. And then had I found the attack? Let's see. I think I, I found the I could, I could be wrong. I think you can split your movement up. Like you can move. You know, I was wondering about that, and I, I just didn't say it earlier. Yeah. I was wondering if you could split move. Yeah, you know, let's see here. The character can take their standard action at any point before, during, or after their movement action. So if you want to like be swinging uh, away, hit mm -hmm. him with some crescent darts, and then finish your your mm -hmm. swing elsewhere, go nuts. Oh, okay. Close attack. No, that's not what I want. Don't want close attack. I'm looking to see. I think. 
while you're doing that, I'm going to take a look at the alternate form thing. Yeah. Because if he can turn into a bat and fly up towards you, that'll be pretty badass. Mm -hmm. It'll be pretty badass. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Boo! Boo, <Everybody> Madison! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do... Uh, I think we'll do weapons boys. Okay. And that's agility. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, you can get this guy bleeding, too. Uh, make a bonus attack against the same target. Same effect. Okay, uh, good call against the agility. That is a hit. Uh, yeah. do, you don't have, do you have an edge on that? No, you don't. No, no. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's a hit. And let's see here. Sorry, what am I pausing for? Um, no, you're fine. Uh, so damage reduction is one. So that is a five times two is 10, 15. 15 points of damage from it. And you you need, oh, yeah, you need to get a fantastic success in order to. Yeah. Uh, so we go. What did I say? No, fifth, 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 yeah, 15 points of damage. Here we go. Okay. Now, would you give us a... Uh, for free, a vigilance check. Okay. Let's see, do I have edge on vigilance, or is that just for a niche? Oh, I think you do from one of your. No, I, I think I only have it for initiative. I think. Well, well what's, what's your investigator one though? Your trait? I thought. Don't you have like an investigator trait, or is that? Yeah, let me go look at investigation. Edge on vigilance to spot clues. Yep. So you could re-roll one of those. All right, let's throw a D6 on there. Okay. Okay, so it's, that it's, 16 is still more than good enough. The reason I'm having you roll is because uh -huh. you, you can hear some maintenance worker has just opened. Let me see here. Do I have a... I think there is a civilian or bystander, do they call it? Average civilian, here we go. Squishy. Precisely, yeah. <laughs> I think they're rank one. Yeah, health 10. Yikes. So someone is opening the door over here and coming out oh, onto the thing. Um, Adam, a turn. Can I, I wonder if I can roll initiative for them and have it automatically go in. Uh, go. I did without even clicking on the token. That is cool. For whatever other yeah, things I'm bitching about about the uh, character <laughs> sheet, that is pretty awesome. Okay. You know what? I wonder if that's the case on all of them. Because remember on uh, Wednesday we were seeing when we went into the character sheet or the, the page, it kept all the initiative things from before. Yeah, they, when we came back into the combat. Right? They may have done work on the initiative tracker. They may have. Okay. So that they is got a big thing though there with the pop out windows. That's okay. the windows are a nuts. Now he has yeah, the pop out windows would be uh, helpful if you're used okay. to playing that way. Alright, so with that thing coming out, I'm gonna make a vigilance check for the bruiser as well. Yeah. Let's see here. He gets plus do I have a three D six plus four? Yeah, I do queued up here. Look at that! <laughs> oh, but he does <laughs> I think he's got heightened senses, which I think um, might let him roll with an edge. Let's see here. Does his rage thing or whatever, does that detract anything? Um, oh, good question. Let's see here. Uh, Berserker. Minus two on agility defenses. Cannot use range weapons. No, that's that, that's oh, it. Okay. So I do get to roll a d6 though, because he has an edge on perception things, but a one. So fortunately, he you've heard this guy come out. This guy does not seem to have noticed it. The bruiser then is going to. I'm gonna have to split my my move. So he runs over here as his uh, standard action, and then whoosh, uses his jump to it. leap up and <laughs> land down. That's all he can do though. The he I think the sound of him hitting the roof. Let's make a vigilance check for our civilian. Mm -hmm. This is just a 10 he needs. I think average civilians have one in all their stats. Let's see here. Average civilian. 
No, it was zero in all their stats. So he's completely oblivious. Maybe there's, he's got headphones on as he's listening and getting ready to work. So he will move. Um, let's see here. Is there move a six? Average civilian. Yeah, there runs a five. So he's moving over to do work. One, two, three. He sees this vampire dead on the ground. What in the... Taking his headphones off like, what is going on up here? Moon Knight, what are you doing? Uh, that's a good question. Um, but yeah, I can attack and move. You can. Uh, tell. You also... You want another neat thing, too, about this game? Yeah. Remember how you get uh, karma back? No, I don't. I've okay. slept since then. All right. <laughs> Let's refresh... How we get karma back. You get karma back by... Yep, oh, it's on that thing. Rip, 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 rip. Earning karma. Excellent role playing. Went out of your way to help someone. Made an inspiring speech. Showed your catchphrase. One of your challenging traits came into play. Or you rescue someone. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to get that person out of here. Um, yeah, let's try that so let me go so what i'm thinking mm -hmm. let me uh, measure stuff real quick see how much room i've got to cause hate and discontent yeah. <laughs> all right so there's half of it yeah i think i could do that so what i think i want to try and do is i want to try and swing over yep uh to that person and grab them okay and then continue swinging probably off the building sure um, over there and land them on the ground yeah like we i've got the, the map is is uh, limited but you can assume there are you know these other buildings on the far side of the street and yeah 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 okay yeah. so come yeah, over there that's to a dc why don't you give us a, a melee against a dc of 10. Okay. i think it's called target number in this game too it's not dc but same concept. Yeah, same idea. Yeah. Look at that. Whoa! This person is grabbed up where you want to put them. Yep. And then I want to get them, put them right, probably right there, you know, on the sidewalk. Okay. <laughs> they uh, they look at you like, what the hell's going on? Run. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in your creepy Moon Knight voice. Yes. All right. The bruiser screams in pain once again. One, two, three, five. Ah! <laughs> Lands down coming after you. The civilian will take your advice. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Whoopsies. Ah! Ooh. Moon Knight, what are you doing? Um, let's see. Let's get back up there and continue uh, the fight. I gotta take away some... Uh, some focus. Yeah, bleed away some focus from him. All right. Let's move up to there. Yep. Go ahead and put, let's see. What was the ranged attack I was using before? I need to scroll back up and just see it. Weapon splicing. I'm gonna check one thing. I, th I feel like most okay. things have a range of ten spaces. Oh, I thought we were saying five. I forgot. We said, well, that's what five for the throwing. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the stuff it just it doesn't list. Like hex bolt, for instance. Um, there's not a range listed. It's just like as long as you got line of sight to the character. Hmm. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Let me see. I think there is... I thought there was like... Let's see if any of the martial arts... Not the martial arts, the melee web. No. What the heck is the ranged weapons? Here we go, ranged uh -huh. weapons. Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe it's there's you're not supposed to be. It's like whatever range because you guys are superheroes. 
you think? I was wondering. I wonder, yeah, if, if it's, you actually aren't supposed to, just as long as you've got line of sight to them, you can try and hit them. Oh. No, because then under, there's an ability that Hawkeye's got called sniping that says, uh, make a range attack against, oh, <laughs> make a range attack against a target at least 20 spaces away. This is not a limit to it. You know what? I think I'm. we're doing this wrong. By we, I mean me. Okay. I think that range attacks can be as long as you've got line of sight. Like, unless it says okay. something. Because, like, his sniping thing says there there isn't a... Um, there isn't anything that says what the range is. Um... Yeah, and like, Hex Blast doesn't seem to have a range on it. Um, Elemental Blast has a range of 10 squares. Elemental Burst has 10 squares. And then Barrage says anything within line of sight. And you affect okay. everyone within 10 feet. I think it's line of sight. Okay. Yeah, All yeah. Right, I'm I just, you know, like for this, I'm envisioning, you know, especially now, a swinging back up there. Yeah, yeah. And he, as he's kind of swinging by with the one hand, he throws those crescent shards. <laughs> yep. So, um, so yeah, let me hit my attack ranged. Okay. Agility. Get that. 17. Uh, do you have edge on this one, or is this just... No. No, yeah. I don't think I have edge on any of my ranged ones. Oh, I okay. Think my melee. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that that is a hit, uh, not a fantastic uh, success. Oh, and you save the the civilian. You have one karma. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that in case I get hit again. <laughs> not a bad idea. <laughs> All right, then it is. Um, mm, 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 mm. So that does. He's got minus one. That's twenty five cool. points of damage. Pretty cool. <laughs> And then All I'll right. finish my move out. Yeah, finish your move. And we'll get back up to... Why don't I come all the way back up over here? That should take him a minute to get to me. Okay. All right, so he can't see you, but he can jump. Yep. Uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the, again, like the using Blade as a reference, rah, they come up, his yeah. trench coat flares behind him, yeah. lands down, um, and oh, I think this is where I could do my unstoppable assault, because then I can move half my movement and try and get you. I close the thing again. Come on, Madison. It's my OCD of wanting to like have a clean thing. Although I've got you sitting yeah. in the corner there, so I don't know what I'm talking about here. Where is it? The unstoppable assault. Let's see what this does again. Okay, so it's going to cost him 15 focus. I'll take 20 away for the round. Healing factor gives him six back. Um. So uh, I'd make my me melee attack, but it doesn't matter. Then I can spend 15 more to do the same thing. So he's just flailing around. Ah! Ah! Comes in on you. Uh, so, okay, so then I've got a 36 plus seven. Let's see, ah, it's a hit. Um, you want to give me trouble on it, or just take the hit? Yeah, I'm going to take the hit, and then we'll worry about okay. the damage. Uh, so then, but yeah, you only take half regular damage, though, so there's there's that. Uh, so, do, 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 and I, you can only affect people by once, so that's 5 times... Five is 25, plus 7 is 32. Bye bye 2 is 16. Take 16 points of damage. <laughs> then it is your turn once again. Well, let's try that again. Uh, 10. All right. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> you know what? Well, no, it's, I'm, see, I'm supposed to... I, hitting him with an agility attack should be easier. Most definitely, so, because he's so out of control. So, yeah. When he's berserk, right. it's and minus two to his uh, agility defense. Yeah, that's why I've been focusing more on that. Um, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Weapons blazing again. Okay. Agility. That is a yeah. solid hit. Uh, it's a 29 damage. That's five. Another 25 points of damage. And then we're going to move, like, move, move. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go as far as humanly possible. <laughs> you come get me down here, big boy. Okay. Me, yeah, we'll come down there. Zoom out a scooch, see where you've gone. Should be right there. Okay. Then it is... Let's check on... Berserker. Uh, when can, I'm checking to see when I can recover. Mm. Oh, when they're reduced to the point you could not voluntarily spend any more focus, uh, or if there are no enemies, then it ends automatically. Yeah. Oh yeah, and so I defeat you. Oh god, that seems is that the only way to get out of Berserk? That's fucking crazy. Next, the character defeats the enemy who hurt them. They then go to the next one. At the end, they lose. Yeah, that's the way I read, Kevin. Wowzers. Okay, so then um, that that feels like there's an errata in coming for that because that's that's Wolverine has that trait as well, and that's he's that that's more like '80s Wolverine than yeah. contemporary Wolverine. So, okay, um, so the Bruiser uh, is going to have to come racing around one, two, three, four, to there, leap one, two, three, four. I've down ah! <laughs> regenerating back and loses more focus. All right, your turn. What are you doing? Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I'm within range, I know. So, let's go ahead and make the old ranged attack. I would no, never mind. Okay, I was just wondering something that I don't think matters. Mm -hmm. So, let's go ahead and bam. Okay. Say hit. This is just a regular range attack you're doing now, yeah. or, um, or the it's same one? The, uh, I'm sorry. It's yeah. It's still the same one. I'm sorry. Okay. I should I should get in the habit. No, no, no that's okay. Uh, so then that is uh, that's a solid hit. Uh, not a fantastic success though. Right. Uh, and you've got no edge. So then that is thirty-five 30. damage. I think right. Uh, what I come up? Yeah, that's what I come up with. <laughs> and now get my move yeah so, one, two, three, yeah i'll just move to the edge okay Over. okay so then he is going to leap one, two, three, four, five. There, and then... Whew. He yeah, can't reach you for the thing. Anyway, as long as he's berserk. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do, is trying to keep him out of Yeah, rope dope him. Heck yeah. Yeah. Your turn. What are you doing? Um. Yep, let's go ahead and make the ranged attack. Come on, Grandpa. Agility, but, um, tell me uh, okay. That is a hit. Um, yeah, he's just 12. You need to hit him right now. So that is uh, 25 again. And then let's oh, move. Did I forget? I think I forgot to adjust his health. His health and his focus from last time because he's still oh, yeah. berserking his way. And until he loses that focus, <laughs> he can't, can't do a range attack against you again. Uh huh. Let's then what are you doing? Here. Now I get my move on. Left and square. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, this is fun. Now this this part is fun. It's like <laughs> hit and move, hit and move, stay out of range. Okay, back up to the north. There you go west one, corner. Two, five. So he leaps down and then races one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Let's see here, plus six, uh, minus five. Go right ahead. All righty. And now for something completely different. <laughs> All right, so that is, once again, 25 damage. Still not a... Yeah. He is really beat up. There are scarab darts stuck all over him. He's okay, bleeding he's in a bunch of places. Yeah. It's just so he's how bloody shot. tough he is. Um, then I think I can... Now I'll move to the south. Let's see what there's one ability he's got that I don't remember what it does. Where is it here? Here we go. Melee yeah, attack. Yeah, you make a fantastic success. It's uh it's pretty good on melee. Yeah. Oh that's great. Yeah, so that exploits the one there. You use your reaction to follow up with a person. The repost is the one that's the response to, to whatever they've done. Okay, then. That's super cool. Okay. Uh, all right, so you've moved. Uh, where'd you move there, Mark? To the uh, Drake South. Okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And then, oh, can he actually reach you? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's so close. <laughs> he's getting there. All part of my master plan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then uh, you're up next. What are you doing? Yep. Throw the throw the scarab darts at him one more time. That is a hit. Uh, Ooh, and that's pretty... 35 damage. So this is going to be enough to finally take him down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> His big, bulky form <laughs> hits the ground. Um... What do you do? You still have a move. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Do I want to try and move up and, and eliminate him as a vampire? Am I trying to find any information out about him? Uh, he seems pretty big and pretty tough for a vampire. Yeah. Let He's me, also uh, not very bad. I'm going to check for healing factor and see if um, okay. when it triggers Yeah. at the end of the character's turn. So what that means, uh, what I was uh, wondering is whether if you jumped over, like, would your character know that would be safe to jump over and get to him? He wouldn't get an action. He would whatever regeneration would come at the end of his turn. Right. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I think Moon Knight would move up there okay. and probably just go ahead and uh, finish him off. Dispatch him. So yeah, he would start healing back, and then you could dispatch him, and then that'll be it for for him. Let's. Um, okay. Why don't you, you I know because you were you were curious of it. Um, why don't you give us a what do you think the investigation is? You can just lo no logic is to analyze clues. Vigilance mm -hmm. is to look for clues, right? I believe so. Yeah, so why don't you give us a vigilance check with uh, yeah, spot clues. Give us a vigilance check with uh, an edge. And that's non-combat? Well, well, it doesn't matter. Never mind. They're both it is non-combat, yeah. And then you get an edge. Re-roll that see. Marvel dice. Yeah, let's see if we can get a higher. Hmm. Nope. Same. Okay. Seventeen is still uh, more than good enough. So here's what you find is that there is um, the uh, the Sunset Sons is the name of the biker gang that he is part of, uh, okay. and you can see that there is. Um, Something in his, like maybe in his wallet, there's uh, something, or I guess his phone would be more likely nowadays. Um, but there is something in his wallet, a, um, a cocktail napkin from a place called, uh, uh, what were we called? Um, uh, the Redwood Stage. And it references a... Uh, it's a, a location out in uh, California, 
Okay. Um, but it uh, it seems to be some kind of strip joint. Okay. And I think you, with a roll that good, because you rolled 17, you beat your, th it's not a fantastic success, but you still roll right. pretty well. I think if you follow up with maybe your contacts or whatnot, do you seem to remember that name, the name of that place coming up before? And it seems mm -hmm. connected with all these vampires up here. The uh, Sunset Suns is something that you have, uh, uh, you've come across here, but they're not a local game. Okay. They're pushing into this uh, territory. They're a vampire gang, it seems. Mm -hmm. That's what led to this chase in the first place. But anyway, that, so yeah, I think we can't help ourselves but try and push together a story from one shot. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, but let's talk about the uh, the last uh, waning session. So for, for those of us at home, I do apologize for the uh, long intro of going through all the rules. There is a lot uh, of rules to go through with this. It, we could have just started playing... Uh, as well, um, but um, I don't know. That's just the way I, I thought uh, we would go about it. Well, first, your thoughts on the uh, on your first time playing this? Um, it's good. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of options, I guess. And I mean, I guess that's kind of maybe that's specific to each different character. I think you know, with Moon Knight, he's not you know your traditional um, Spider Man, especially not like an Iron Man, anybody like that. You know, he's much more closer to the Punisher. So he's kind of got a lot of maneuvers, I guess is the right word to use. Yeah. Uh, but it does give you options, you know, and I like that. I like having some different options. Uh, All the characters do have that, I should say. Like for yeah. Iron Man uh, as well, he's got five elemental control powers. Mm -hmm. uh, and then less than what Moonlight has and less. Uh, I think they're the the like he's got elemental barrage, elemental barrier, elemental blast, elemental burst, and elemental push. Those I think are more intuitive than the abilities you had. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, that's you know, you kind of got to think. In, I, I guess to a certain level, you kind of got to think in terms of the character. Like if you if you know the character from the comic, you need to be putting your mind in that. Um, that frame yeah. so that you know okay what would that character do what are his combat options yeah. you know what would be his uh the way he would handle stuff well we went uh, in today yeah, with it. like we decided this morning when we logged on that we were going to give this game a try so wills had no chance to prep with moon knight he was reading it as we were going as well once we got going did you feel like you had a handle on what your options were yeah, yeah, you know, and it, it takes a little bit of learning. One of the things specifically, I think, to some extent, looking at this character, is a lot of his stuff is more melee focused mm. uh, as far as his options. Um, so, you know, and I mean, that's just, that's the way they model the character, um, which does make some sense to some extent. Uh, I think they're probably, I mean, if it was me designing it, I would balance it a wee bit more. Or, or lean a little bit more into um, the range. Simply thinking about it, Mark Spector's background. Yeah. Simply in those types of terms and the comics that I remember reading. So that's but, a, uh, that's an interesting point because one of the things that Forbeck yeah. says in... I'm saying it's him because he wrote the book and he's the only name on the book. What he says yeah. is that if these characters don't fit with your vision of it, whether it's the rank or the powers or whatnot, the, you can use the power of the rules for the game to easily modify it. So you yeah. could switch, you know, switch powers around to have more melee stuff. If you feel like the mighty should not apply all the time, then you could, you know, adjust that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, it's the. I was worried that, especially when we went through the list, I'm like, oh my god, I guess this is going to move so fucking slow. But it didn't really. No, I just had to, you know, I'd have to read every once in a while. And that's one thing that they could, you know, speaking of that um, melee and range, one of the easiest things they could do here in Roll20 on that character sheet is put some sort of identif identifier under your powers or beside your power name. Yeah. M A, melee agility, it's... just so you know. Yeah. Immediately, I'd have to pop it open and read it. Well, and that's the thing, like, in, in the rule book like they're all your powers are listed under the power set so it's easy to understand what's a melee ability what's a right. ranged ability what's a defensive thing instead of having everything bundled together yeah i guess what their thought is, is you well i don't know i mean i, I don't want an excuse for them i agree with you there's no reason why that that couldn't have uh, been set up and that's even with color coding on the powers right 
Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where are they? Oh, well, guess what I just figured out on the character sheet. What's that? All right. So when you come on the character sheet um, and you've got your powers there and it's got the whole list. Yeah. Right above that, it says filter by power set. Oh, that's dope. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can click that and click on ranged weapons. So there's there's some information. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's over. cool. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything else that we're like, I, I've, I'm not missing anything for for a re-roll or anything like that, right? Who, me? No, me. Like a, a, oh. Notes doesn't have anything extra under it. I, I, that the only thing, with, with the modifiers for uh, for damage, the only thing that I would love to, I'd really love to see is the ability to, on the fly, add modifiers. So like, yeah, if you're ball. rolling it with edge, you know, uh, or trouble, you know, being able to have a prompt come and say what that is, mm -hmm. and for damage, to be able to enter in the resilience right away. So, uh, you know, if you're rolling your melee damage and it's a resilience two uh, that you're hitting, you could plug that in and it automatically does that calculation for it. We're able to do right. it and we're able to roll the extra dice ourselves, but yeah, that would just make it so, because like the, the complaint I have is that like, if this is designed to be, uh, marketable to people who haven't played role-playing games before like adding that little extra it's roll 20 is such a versatile and useful tool for so many ways but to force them to learn how to work the dice rollers in addition to the character sheets is just an extra little bit of complication i think you know i think about because i th this surprised me this goes back to our 5e game um but I, if i'm you tell me if i'm wrong but every roll it makes it does 2d20 yep whether it's and, and you determine is it advantage or disadvantage so i think that would be the programming for this is whenever you roll your three dice it automatically rolls a fourth one well and that fourth one just is you know so you know whether you have edge or not we even you having know, I, like i different. know they can do something like this because like uh -huh. In the Shadowrun 6th edition sheet, when you roll, uh -huh. uh, what it then has is a bunch of different options for it. And one of the options, like one of the options is treat fours as f and fives as successes. Uh, you know, so, you, and it automatically recalculates what it's already rolled, or you can re-roll everything that wasn't a success and it automatically populates what the number is. So there are other sheets that have that functionality where you just take existing rolls and you roll one or two things differently. Um, I'd really like to see that in here just because it's such an interesting mechanic. Mm -hmm. Like the edge in the that that the edge the edge in the trouble was really neat. I don't remember it having a consequential effect on any of our rolls yet. That's just because of the way the dice came out. Like almost yeah, every I time, I got one benefit from from an edge um, doing that one time. I, I can't remember. Yeah, and I think the it felt like we were using most of the rules. Uh, I guess one thing I'll say is uh, as well the. You know, there there may be a from the you know from the viewer's perspective, there may be a, a feeling that like oh, well, because of the way the berserk thing worked, and because of the way you you know you were um, you, you were just able to cheese that that uh, that fight, but that's after nearly being rendered unconscious twice from fighting in melee. So like because the player came up with a good strategy that worked, and because of the way the berserk worked, that's awesome. Like that's a smart way to rope a dope someone. So yeah, and I mean that's like. Part of kind of what I had to think about with that is, you know, yeah, I've got some really good melee attacks, but, you know, I don't want to just sit there, stand there and try and hit him, especially if it's more beneficial to do a ranged attack on it. So, I mean, I'm like, you know, I may not have as much options in the range, but I know I can do it and stay, for the most part, out of his clutches. When I love, I, I do love how, now, like we're talking through the, we already did how, not house rule, but we reworked Moon Knight to have that uh, signature Swing weapon it. instead of, uh, we'd have to dump one thing, but like that's something that is very, very, very easy to do with the rule book um, to make the character your, you know, fit with your own conception of it. Mm -hmm. If you were willing to allow that kind of uh, like things that make sense for like okay today i'm going out with xyz kind of thing that actually might be something that would be it's almost like retraining in pf2 like it would be a way of seeing the character change mechanically and to try different things out without having to figure out how you you know moonlight gets a level yeah and that's kind of you know that kind of reminds me a little bit of champions like the the power pool whatever yeah that kind of reminds me of that you talking about that makes me think in those terms um and you know I, to me that 
depending on the character, I guess. But like for an Iron Man, that to me is very much a very good model of that character. Yeah. And I'm sure I, Sp- Spider-Man has probably done some, but where you fight the bad guy, you figure out what his weakness is, and then you go back and fight him and win, you yeah. know? Um, you know, you go back to the lab or whatever. So that ability to, you know, manipulate, um, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's not bad at all. Yeah. And I think that'd be, that'd be, I think it would be an interesting, um, way of, uh, uh, of allowing the characters to have that, uh, have that change, uh, that you see in other role-playing games. Cause that like, think of it strictly as a role-playing game, not seeing any change in your character, uh, is a, is just kind of, that's kind of boring. But it can be, yeah, yeah, it can. Be. I mean, you know, it's just it's one of the things. It's fine if you're playing in a one shot, but in like in an ongoing campaign, that is just it is a thing in so many other games. It's hard not to feel that absence here. But that's yeah. one way to do that is you know because even if you think of like when a new writer comes on, often the characters are going to be have Moon Knight is a great example of this. Depending on the writer, there's a it's a vastly different character that you're writing about. I was surprised to see him ranked as a rank four equal to Spider-Man when I would have thought of him as equal to Punisher or, I mean, I, I, Punisher isn't actually in the rule book, so I don't know what rank they're, you know, officially oh, okay. putting him, but like, I would have put him in a three because the three feels, Daredevil, I think is a three. Uh, like Crossbones is a three. Daredevil is a two. See now that that makes a little more sense, I guess, to me, because yeah. really, <clears throat> and Frank, you know, Punisher would be to me the Punisher and Daredevil should be on the exact same level. Yeah, the only real thing Matt has going for him is you know the enhanced senses, basically. Yeah, he doesn't have any strength. He doesn't have enhanced durability. He doesn't have a regeneration factor, whereas Moon Knight is enhanced yep you know he is enhanced now i wouldn't necessarily have put spider-man and iron man on the same level i think i think iron man would be a step up from moon knight and spider-man but that's just me yeah Um, yeah i think that oh you would put moon knight at spider-man same level yeah i would say moon knight and spider-man would be on about the same level and then someone like iron man is going to be the next step up Yes, yes. So Spider Man, Spider Man, and Iron Man are the same tier in in this yeah. one. But it's neat because like if you if you feel the character should be stepped up, it's it's a it's a piece of piss to step up everything because just like the modifiers need to go up, the you right. get some extra powers you get to pick. Um, that's it. It's not you know uh, it's it's a very very easy way to scale up scale down characters. So if you want to have them in a different range, it's a uh, it's fairly easy to do. Uh, yeah. Any closing thoughts in your first time with Marvel Multiverse? No, I don't think so. I, you know, it's 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 good. It's D six based. Um, like I, I said it earlier, it's a lot of the stuff. There's a lot of feel that reminds me of Savage Worlds to a large extent. Mm. Um, there's just there's a lot of things that just feel very similar, and that's not a a bad or a good. That's just an observation. Well, I mean, one of Matt Forbeck's uh, own games is uh, Brave New World, which is based on the Savage Worlds chassis, effectively. You did Brave New World. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes sense that uh, he definitely has designed and written quite a bit of stuff for uh, Savage Worlds or Deadlands and mm-hmm. for uh, for Savage Worlds in general. So yeah, that, 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 that definitely tracks. It's a clever... Like, I, I can see there being a lot of stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing what... Um, what the first adventure looks like to see how they like if it's just a series of fights uh or if it's written in the same way that the you know that other where it's like you know it's it's this is the target number to uncover a clue here and then here's the adversary you fight here i'm i'm interested to see if they take advantage of the fact that you can effectively do the same kind of like attack and effect with all of your stats so it'll be neat to see if they take advantage of that in the way that like some of the 2D20 games do. Like at, when we played Action Cthulhu, the Star Wars version, remember the thing where like there's like a damage track that you're working for to fight? Right. You need to see something like that as well. But um, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'm looking forward to that. All right. Uh, from a Game Master's perspective, as much as I bitched about some of the functionality of the Roll20 thing, I will say having the ability to look up what each of the abilities are was very helpful. Because there's a lot of, uh, if we were playing with, um, man, I would be hard pressed to think of 
um, a how this would play at a reasonable pace with like five players. Mm. Even with like we were we're new to this, so we're looking up a bunch of stuff. But imagine a game master trying to handle five villains, each with their own special abilities. Like I feel like without roll twenty or without a really good mastery of the system, it could roll pretty slow. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, well, uh, so for those listening at home, thank you so much for joining us for the our inaugural game session with uh, Marvel Multiverse Role Playing, um, or sorry, the Marvel Multiverse Role Playing Game. That's a very uh, cumbersome title. Um, as is always the case, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding the session, the campaign, or the game we're playing, we're not really a campaign yet, but uh, we never say never. Um, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll endeavor to reply in a timely fashion. There's also a link down below to the Dungeon Musings Discord server where we have channels dedicated to uh, assorted games, to every other game we run on the channel, uh, as well as a ton of other great channels with some great people who are more than welcome to join the Dungeon Musings community over there. Uh, there's also a link down below to our friends at Noble Knight Games. Noble Knight Games is the preeminent unionized retailer of hard-to-find and out-of-print RPGs in North America. Not only do they have an outstanding selection of new role-playing games, board games, and card games. They have an unmatched selection of hard-to-find and out-of-print RPGs, uh, including um, uh, a bunch of the old Marvel stuff. I have picked up some Marvel stuff through them. If you happen to purchase a um, $10 or more through their website, be sure to enter the code SUMMERMUSER, all caps, all one word, and you'll save yourself 10% on your purchase. If you're listening to this at a point after, it's about mid-September 2023, check back on one of our more recent videos and uh, find what the current uh, discount code is. Uh, there's also a link down below to um, something called Heroes Save Villages. That is the charity fundraising campaign we run on the channel. It benefits the SOS Children's Villages International Charity, a really a terrific organization active in over 130 countries, benefiting over 80,000 orphaned and abandoned children around the world, including ongoing relief efforts in Ukraine and the surrounding countries at the time of recording. All donations through that link go directly to SOS Children's Villages International. None of it goes to the channel or any other middleman. It just goes to help out the kids who benefit from their services. And as a small way of um, uh, saying thank you, if you've donated $10 or more since June 1st, 2023, you'll have a chance to vote on the remaining sessions for the 2023 Year of Ill Omens charity campaign. Head on over to the Charity Initiatives channel on the Dungeon Musings Discord server. A link to that is in the description of this video. And you can learn more all about that. The last thing I will say is a huge thank you to Will for diving in and giving uh, first thing in the morning in the middle of the storm while he's suffering power outages a, uh, a try to the uh, Marvel Multiverse game. This is a really, I, I feel like we got a really good showing of what the game is potentially like from this one. So thanks very much for that, Will. No problem, enjoy it. Nice. So then for those listening at home, uh, we'll be back in uh, the Great White North with our continuing campaign of the Guard, playing Savage Supers in two weeks' time. But until then, we hope that we gave you a few hours to take your mind off the troubles of our world and think about the troubles that are, are happening in the rooftops of Marvel's uh, New York City. And until we see you again, stay safe, stay healthy, and happy gaming. <laughs>